So with everyone okay. that is on the platform, praise the Lord. I just want to welcome Sister Anita. Yeah, prophetess. prophetess we, why do we call Christ, people prophets? Why do we call people prophets? Joan and um, Laverne. Yeah, why do we call people prophets? want to prophets? welcome you guys to our platform. Why do we call people prophets and prophets? Because we are the mouthpiece of Almighty God. Exactly. And Not only that, but it fulfilled Joel chapter 2, verse right. 28. Listen carefully. No, make nobody tell you nothing. Uh, who know are the prophet and prophetess of one soul? They understand, but you know, one of the things that I have also need I need to I need to bring yes. across is that the same way Almighty God has the giftings, yes. the devil would want to use the very same gifting that Almighty give us against Almighty God and against that's what, that is what he did. because that's how the spirit of uh, that's how they, they read up spirit come up because it's a, that's the divination spirit we're, we're talking about the gift yes. <laughs> Eve saw that's the gift so, and so, she thought that so, it is so God. they are they, they are prophets because Isaiah the prophet Joel and uh, which other one they were we have a lot of prophets. Have Ezekiel, modern day we, have, prophets? we have Moses. Yes. Amen. We have, have modern-day modern prophets. Day prophet because we have people on yes. the line right now who are hearing yes. from God. Yes. And that is why we, we call you prophet and prophetess. Yes. Because a man is a prophet yes. and a woman is a prophetess. But mm -hmm. people will tell you that there is no prophet. Listen yes. to me. That's a lie yes. from the people. Yes. Yes. If there is no prophet, then that what they are actually saying is that you're not hearing from God. Because Listen to me. God talks to us personally yes. in, our in our life. All right? Now, what I want to point out is very simple. Listen what the devil did. Mm -hmm. The devil is a perfect copying machine. Yes. He's a perfect copying machine. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that because I was once working for him. All right? And so what we used to do, in other words, the devil used the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. The same name was supposed to give us salvation. I the devil used to curse people. Carbon copy. Carbon copy. Exactly. That's what I and that is how the, 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 the invention of copy machine come along. Mm -hmm. Because the devil copy everything. So what happened now that I used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ to cast spell upon people. Mm -hmm. But when I start to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, now God locked me out of the copying room. So me can't use the copy room refer to the divinational spirit. Me can't use the divinational spirit anymore. So what I want to point out is very simple. Many churches today are cursed people. Are you in a fight to get done? Because by right, if you did accept those prophecies, you are oh, a pajera. I would have, I would have pajera. <laughs> you know, the sad part about it, you know. She gets no, a lot of prophecies. No, we laugh, no, but yeah, we when can you really laugh, look no. back at it, you yeah. realize that a lot of persons demons are released upon their lives because yes. that's what was released upon me i was assigned a spirit husband yes. just by opening my spirit to accept that word we are not saying that person what we're saying that you need to test the spirit because exactly. i don't know what a person's life is like because when me gone on my bed you might have persons who are spending time in the presence of almighty god and when they come to you and say thus says the lord Thus said the Lord. Thus says the Lord. But there are other but we're times. also saying to you yes. that, listen, you need to be tapping into the Lord too, so they can know what then comes. The reason the for Lord. this is very simple. Say, no, the line of people Stick, up in, again. Stick up in again. Mm -hmm. The reason for this is very simple. If brother Simon come to you and say, Thus said the Lord. If sister Simon come to you and say, Thus said the Lord. You now go back to God and say, God, did you tell brother Simon so? Did you tell sister Simon so? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. If God had talked to me, remember your life, you know, and yes. me come and say, God said, Well, God needs you, you need to talk to me too. Mm -hmm. And confirm where brother Simon yes, and sister Simon. Yes. Because if you not confirm it, me now. Believe it. Exactly. exactly. If you don't can because if you can tell them about my life, why you can't confirm it? Are you come tell me about myself? my life? Or talk to me, must talk I'm, to me. I'm yourself. just saying. I'm just because saying. you see, we one of the things that we are trying to 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 bring across is that. 
you need to have a relationship with Almighty God. Yes. Because the same way Abraham, who didn't have anybody to preach to him, could stand up and say, listen to me, I want to know the God who created all of this. And that's when Almighty God introduced himself he had to, to Abraham. He had to. Because Abraham came and seek after him. And that is in line with biblical principle. It is in line the with Bible said, principle. seek he and you shall find. The kingdom of no, 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 not earth. that one. Oh, you said, seek, seek and he shall and find. And so once you have not that, yes. door shall be open exactly. unto you. Once yes. you start to seek, me a question thing. God will lead you to Brother Simit. God will yes. lead you to Sister Simit. And so listen carefully. When you come to Brother Simit and Sister Simit, that is only the beginning. Yes. God know why you start this up. Because listen carefully. The Bible tells us in John, which is called Book of St. John, chapter 14, yes. amen, verse 26. It said, but the comforter, yes, who is the Holy Spirit, yes, shall teach you all things. Uh -huh. Not brother Simit and sister Simit. Thank you. Brother Simit and sister Simit is to prepare you to the way. Uh-huh. So, just, just to give you, point you to the some way. point. Yes. Yeah. And point then is. you know what walk down the direction. The, yes. Because even though there's nothing wrong with you being a part of a body, meaning if I choose to join a congregation, there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to ensure that the congregation that you're a part of is actually worshiping the true and living God. Stick up in and the <laughs> one second, and that leader is not leading the flock to himself. Okay. Because we need to understand that at the us. end of the day, is not your pastor going to stand before Almighty God? Are you, uh, you. Yeah, yeah. So you need to ensure. So even if my pastor give me a scripture today and say, the Lord say, you're going to own 50 million and one, um, what do you call it now, pigs. I have to go to God on my own and say, God, did you, did you, tell, him that? Did you tell him that? And this is Am in I line with Bible. To own 50 million and one this pigs? is in line with Bible, everyone. This is in line with Bible. In 1 John chapter um, 4, verse 1, he said, Beloved, in other words, bridging. In other words, Brother Simit, Sister Simit, Sister Kerian, Sister um, jo um, Joan um, Johnson, Sister Wright, uh, do not believe everything when Brother Simit has said, mm -hmm. but try the spirit. Yes. Yes. Go ahead and share. If you listen to me, go ahead and share, everyone. Amen. Share. Go ahead and share. Amen. The platform is open. Go ahead and share. Prophetess Kerian. No, no. Prophetess Kerian. Have the spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and this one too. No, yeah. Yeah, the other smith. So what happened now is very simple. What we need to understand is very simple. Mm -hmm. All right. The Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and yes. all its righteousness. So yeah. once you start to seek, yes. then God has to make way. You get my yes. himself. Yes. So yes. what I want to point out is listen carefully. It is okay to be a part of a congregation. Yes. Just like the church should be a, 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 a gas station, you know. Yes. Where when you want a word, you go to the church. In other words, you're driving your car, you're running out of gas, you go to the gas station and you get the gas, but you're not seeing at the gas station, you know. You know, there was a scripture this morning, one of the scriptures that yeah. we were speaking about. I think it's Matthew um 18 to 19. Mm -hmm. Let me read what it says. Let me go back to it. It's one of the key verses I was looking on this morning. Yes, what uh, is it? I'm going, I'm coming, I'm coming. Matthew 18, 19 to 20. And it was saying, um, as you made that point, verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall buy, no, 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 no. Okay. 19, oh, 19. Again, I say unto you, that if, if two, of you yeah. shall agree on earth as touching anything that, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. My the point God. I'm trying to make here, the Lord is saying to us as children of the Most High, yeah. is unity. Not only and that. Unity, <laughs> <Papa Wojtasen. laughs> Stick up in there, sir. Unity. Yes. Listen carefully. The scripture that comes to mind is very simple. One shall trace a thousand. But two. And two shall put 10,000 to flight. Right. Now listen carefully. There will be a situation that you are going to need help with. Yes. Yeah, that's why the body of Christ come in. Uh -huh. All right? Yeah. So you have a demons that you're facing. However, you need a somebody to, to pray along with you. Yes. One shall chase a thousand because and every demon can fight you. Yes, you need backup. Amen. 
Something and that is why the church is so important. The body, that's why it said, forsake not the assembly of saints. Yes. Why? Because there are going to be time when you need somebody to back stop. you up. Ah. So that is why it said, forsake not the assembly of the, the gathering of Christ, because you're going to need somebody to get brave. You know, if you tell a person, you know, sister, pray for me, pray for me. just pray for me. One of the things, that one of, but one of the things I can tell you, yes. you don't have to go in detail because no. one of the gift things that the Lord has placed, I know about that gift thing. Yes. You can be, I can be praying for you. And him, I don't know things. And the Lord has I don't know what it is. Amen. What you're going through. Because at the end of the day, we are all of us have been equipped with giftings yes. to help each other because but all of us come together as one body. But the sad like part the about it is that me feel some me have a gift and me feel some me better than you. No, but me, me glad we are going to stick up in there again. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if I you are the eye? Mm -hmm. And you are sitting, mm -hmm. and you're translated to the brain. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if the brain decides, uh, you are going like a you are sitting, and, hey! and the brain decides, uh, hey, 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 no, hey. I'll give it to you. Uh, all right, fine. You want to go to the kitchen, you know, the eye, you know, and the foot, you know, mm -hmm. and the foot decides, uh, listen to me. I'm not oh, going. Nah, nah, <laughs> so, what I want to point out is very simple. All of us have the gift, all of us have a gift. So, my gift may be discernment of spirit. Yes. Your gift might be praying because we can't discern, but we can't pray. No. I'm an intercessor. Yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yes. Ask my wife. Yes. My wife is a beautiful prayer. But I, 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 I may have a gift of discerning. Amen. She has the gift of praying. What I want to bring along is that we're not the body of Christ. Everybody now have one gift. No. No. Everybody now have the and one everybody gift. Be pastor. And everybody going to be pastor. No, gonna no, be no. Exalter. Everybody is a pastor. Everybody mm -hmm. have a pastor. Everybody is oh, a pastor. Oh, you're a priest of your own soul. Everybody are the pastor. Listen to me. When me come at church, listen carefully. Mm. When me come at church, like for example, when you come on the platform now, me sign over my right to Brother Simit for, mm. for, the, for the two hours when I'm on the platform with him. All right? But you see, anytime me blog off, Brother Simit can't come into my house or run my house. Mm -hmm. And me, I have this priest, I must them. So what I want to bring across is that there's three priests. Jesus of Nazareth is a priest. You are a priest. And when you go to the church, you sign over your, your right to the priest. To the leader. Exactly. To the leader. But as soon the as you leave leadership. Yes. There. But as soon as you come out of his presence, you know is the priest of your own own school. And, but the sad part about it, a lot of us do not know that. And that is and why this platform we is here. Sign up over our rights to a pastor. And when we come out and present, we sit, come yeah. out and present that's pastor. the problem. And that and, and the, the sad part about it is that a lot of pastors leaders love the fact that they are treated as kings stick up in and again. queens stick up in again. They have they, a space, they, stick up in. yeah anytime you have a leader listen carefully a clarity we are bringing we are talking but we're bringing clarity because we already know the problem yes. we want a solution anytime you have a leader we start say i'm a children then you have a problem because children no have no right ah. you don't understand what i said Children no have no right. right. So what you need to understand is very simple. You have one daddy, and his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And that is why Jesus said, call no man on earth your father. Ah. You see where it is? Because, because we, we our, meet, our heavenly father, exactly. our father is in heaven. Because if, listen to me, um, we meet somebody the other day, and the person come and say, this is my daughter. And my wife was really convinced that the man. I thought it was biological daughter. When we hear punish out, I'm spiritual daughter. You know what the man did? The man controlled the woman. Let us not go there. Okay, fine. Leave that part. Of but him control the woman. You now go there. Let me go there. No, 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 no. I'd rather you not go. I'd rather you not go there. Uh-uh. Can I override that? No. Please. And the man no, control please. it. Please, please. We will not go there. I There's a reason. Fell in love you with what, you Jesus. You don't go there. Okay. At the cross. <laughs> At Calvary, I, yeah. I fell in love with Jesus, and now, praise God, I'm free. You see, when you are children, when you are children of man, man, shut up your mouth. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. All when you're wrong, don't say nothing. <laughs> So me, I use intelligence. We're not okay. going there. But, but Praise the, the Lord. So, so what I do now, you're in a meal, shut up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Shut up. Don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But God said, shut up. I'm me alone. God oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
I fell in love. But God, I talk to me. A divination, I talk to you. I'm here alone, God, I talk to you. But pastor, you're wrong. No, you mean you're wrong. I'm here alone. God. I no, fell no, no. in love. They will say, come to me first with the word. Let okay. me strain it. Okay, okay. So, what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? I always for the word. And then you go back. I have okay, no. And and she did I tell no uh, you know what the Lord said what did the Lord say the Lord said me mouth too big but me not tell you the part you know what me do me say listen to me the Lord said you for repent church me you know me know I tell you for repent and I'm here the head of the church you know so me know I said me I live right but who don't live right church you need for repent the Lord said you for repent okay daddy when then, the then, word then, was for okay. you when the word was for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. So what we need to understand is very simple. Mm -hmm. Call no man on earth your papa. Yes. Because once your papa, what I am saying is that, listen to me, you notice we open the platform? Yes. Anybody want to talk on the platform? You're free we're to free to, yes. you just hold up your hand, put up the icon and hold yes. up your hand and you talk. We I give you the platform. Give the platform because you. once we listen to me. You're hearing from God, you know. I know we alone hearing from yes. God, you know. So if you're on the platform and you get a, 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 um, the Lord speak to you, then you hold up your hand, all right? All this mood. Oh, glory to God. 
So before we go any further, before we go any further, everyone, before we go any further, amen, we must explain, amen. First thing you need to understand, if you understand spiritual warfare, You're not no, no, we're going live on yeah, Facebook because okay. it's going live on Facebook okay. also. First thing we must understand is spiritual warfare. Mm. Spiritual <laughs> warfare is very simple. Satan can't touch you, he can't touch me. And because we pray and cover the platform, before everybody come, all right? So he can't touch the platform. So therefore, he can't touch nobody on the platform. Why? Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not yes. that everybody on the platform, that everybody belongs to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. So Satan can't touch everybody because we did not give him permission to yes. touch everybody. Yes. But that no means to say he can't touch the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine people? We have a device. We have two internet and two have, internet with two at the same we time. Have, we have one from flow and one from digital. And you want them to say the two internet gonna go one time. one time. The reason for that is very simple. <laughs> Satan don't want you guys to know the truth. My God. Hallelujah. Because once you know the truth, <laughs> the truth is going to set you free. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of everybody on the platform, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Christ, Jesus Christ, of Christ, every spirit that is assigned to the platform right My now, God. we take authority over them and we shut them down and we send them back to the pit of hell. Satan, you Jesus are a liar. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You make one mistake. One mistake you make. You should have killed me when you have that chance. But I refuse to die right now. And in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, brothers. Christ of Nazareth, you can't kill me anymore. Every spirit that was assigned. In the, name ah, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I claim about my wife right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I listen to me, no matter paying attention to that. I claim about everything right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Internet, I speak to you. Stabilize. You have to be stabilized right now. Internet, I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's all we pray around here. Yes. Amen. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, He said, I give you the power over what? Over what? Go find Genesis chapter 1, 26. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You know why Jesus came for the woman? In chapter 1, 26. Genesis 1, 26. Listen to me. When Jesus came, 
Providence Lavern. I can't afford to do that. <laughs> when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, listen carefully. When Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, this is what happened. And the Lord said, Yes. Let us make man in our image. And the Lord said to Jesus of Nazareth, Let us what? Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our own image. Okay. So when the Bible. Tell you about man, he talk about man and woman, meaning man and woman. Let them have dominion over what? The fish of the sea. When the Bible tell you about the fish of the sea, it's talking about the marine kingdom. Mm -hmm. So it's no wonder why we're being attacked by marine kingdom now. So let them have dominion over the what? The it's marine the kingdom of the seas. Or in other words, the, the marine kingdom underneath the seas. All right? Now what again? The fall of the air. No, stop there, son. Remember when we used to grow up, we used to teach about Ariel? A long time, they teach you about the marine kingdom. Uh, uh, marine yes, yes. With, the, with the man, with the cheaty fa. We yes. always see that with cheaty fa. And Ariel, didn't I the tell you? Mermaid. The little mermaid. Exactly. Yes. So what they were actually Soya? doing. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Soya. Amen. So How good are you? to see you. Amen. Hard to hear you. Amen. <laughs> Blessed. <laughs> Amen. So what they were doing, you can go ahead and close now, unless you have something yes, else to say. Yeah. So what they were doing, they were actually teaching us how to work with the spirit of the undersea. Mm -hmm. So what in a Jamaica now, they call it the river maid. Mm -hmm. And that is a river maid within the flat bridge. Mm -hmm. All right. That is why we have people requiring soul. Mm -hmm. So that is what they want. So the Lord said, I give you authority over the underworld, the sea mm -hmm. underworld. Mm -hmm. Because when they talk about sea, it represents every water body. Yes. All right. So I give you authority over the marine kingdom of the sea. And over the fall of the And earth. over the fall. When the Bible talks about fall, it is talking about Satan and the fallen angel. Yes. So I give you the authority over the fallen angel and Satan of the atmosphere. And over the cattle and over and over the cattle. When the Bible tells about cattle, it means cattle represent image. Yes, that's what cattle represent. Yes. Remember the first image where they make was, was in the farm of a cattle. Yes. yes, and so what the Lord said again over over the cattle and over all the oh and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that so when it said and over all the earth it means that you have authority over your own life over your own destiny mm -hmm. so all of these things that i all tell you cannot have any dominion over you yes that's what the bible means and what you said again and over every creeping thing now when the bible upon the in other words every manipulating spirit yes you have the authority over it and that's what it means. And then listen carefully. You know why you put on it? These powers was given to us, and we were not created yet. Mm. You notice how no man cannot create it. Mm. So God gave us this power, and we were not created yet. And then verse 27 now said, So he's ready to create us now. Man in his so image. God created man in his own image. Now, first, when he said in his own image, it means that we are first spiritual. So we are gods of the earth. And in the we are gods of our lifestyle and of our life. So we determine what goes on in our life. And that is why um, Revelation 3 verse 20 said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Why do I stand at the door and knock? Because I give you the power from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. So not even me, God. Can't force you to do anything. So when you go through your trial and tribulation, why? Are you going through it? Because you relinquish. You are the one who gave Satan the right over you, mm -hmm. out of disobedience, one, and out of not knowing, lack of knowledge. All right. When you know you're right, see, listen to me. Me work over there for 22 years. Me used to cast spill up on people. And when the Lord said, "Listen to me, go out now and teach your people them," because me used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ to cast spill up on people. And the Lord said, "Go back now and teach them how to override those spell." Amen. So what do I mean by this? Is very simple. Amen. So what do I mean by this is very simple. So I used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ to cast spell upon people. And then the Lord said, go back now and teach the people them how to, how, how to overcome these spirits. That's what he said. So listen carefully. All you have to say no, is very simple. When you are praying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
Hi, and you call your name. So I'm going to give you an example. I, repeat after me. We're going to pray, and you repeat after me. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I, your full name. I, Michelle Ponton Smith. Come in your presence right now. Come in your presence right now. And every spirit that is assigned to me. And every spirit that is assigned. That is not of you, God. That is not of you, God. I. I am Michelle Panton. Take authority over them right now. And I send them back to the Peter Hill. Dalios done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Dalios done. No matter how bad the demons is, no matter how bad the Hube man is, you're just lacking like him. Uh, one of the things that I've al I would also add to what you're saying, yes. I believe in also praying the scriptures. Yes. I believe in telling God to listen. You're not praying the scripture. Yes. You're, you're reminding God in the word. reminding God of his word. When you're praying so, the scripture, you're actually I, like, well, well, on. I, it, it, well on. when you when you say you're praying the scripture, you actually like you 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 find the scripture for say God. Uh, no, when you remind God in word, didn't you say that I am this? Yes. He so what? To remind him of him word. Ah, exactly. that's the word. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. So even though I pray that, I yeah. so for instance, I'm going through a a a spirit of of um of what you call it. No, I would say all right, infirmity. Yes, sickness. Sickness. I'm gonna go to God and say, God, your word said you were bruised for my iniquity. They said the chastisement. And this is for just a minute. Yeah. This is found in Isaiah 53, verse 5. Right. All right. He was wounded for our transgression. He was, he was bruised for our iniquity. Yes. The chastisement of his of our sins is upon him. And he said, By your stripes I am healed. So no, while no. you are praying, and this you platform. are reminding God about his word. And at the same time, because you're using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but you're combining it with the word of God and say, God, this is what your word says. And he said, also, whatever you ask in my name, yes, it shall be given unto thee. Yes. You understand? As long as whatever you're coming to God with is not a selfish request. Now, the reason why, listen carefully, when my wife is talking, you will you, you will see me, me butting and thing. It's just to remember, this is a platform where we teach. Mm -hmm. And so if I see any blank space, if I go to school and they say, fill in the blank space, once we see the blank space, I'm going to put up my hand. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm ill-mannered, because we already know the situation, we, but we want answers to fix it. Mm -hmm. So if I see a blank space, I'm going to put up my hand. It's not because I want to cut her out. It's because I want to help, um, to, to bring, because we want, listen to me. The aim is to have people to be in the realm of the spirit where we are, mm -hmm. because we are now spiritually adults. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this platform is to help you to be adults. Remember, level one, when you just got baptized, you can say in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And just like a baby, when a baby born, all I have to do is eat, and sleep. Every work you have to do, are you are you the parents have to do it? Mm -hmm. And so the Holy Ghost comes in. So when you just baptize, the Holy Ghost take care of you, and yes, feed you, it. and change your nappy, and all you have to do, I just I sleep. Paul says what? Well, when I was a child, I speak as a child. In other words, when I was a child, me shit me pampas and drink oh, and eat. Oh. No, no, leave me a me talk <laughs> so that people can understand me. No, so, meaning. That man. No, no, leave me a me talk because I want people to understand me. When you just get saved, all you have to do is just relax in Christ. Enjoy the vacation. Relax in Christ. You see, when they reach level two, so just like the child now, when he when he went a little baby, all him do eat and sleep. You see, anytime he start walk around, eh? You said you start teaching child now, mama, dada. So uh, this is where Jesus and Jesus Christ come in now. No. Yeah. All right. Let me give that typical example. Yes. You remember when Moses went to Egypt mm -hmm. and Pharaoh called for his magicians? Yes. Remember no, when them when 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 Ex, this is the scripture that she's speaking of is Exodus chapter seven right. verse when, eleven. When them throw down for them rod, remember said became a snake, and then when Moses throw down for him one. No, two, Moses was the one that throw down. Throw down for him one first, right? And then the Egyptian then throw down for them. Throw down for them one. But because if you're going to say that, if you're going to say no, that, then, no, let me let the yes, point first. Yes. The reason why I may, I will say what I'm saying mm -hmm. is to back up what you're saying about Jesus. Because, Jesus no, Christ. that's what I'm saying. Because. You remember now you have carbon copy. We spoke about carbon copy yes. before we went uh, before the disruption. And that's what we're saying. If we are going to say Jesus and Jesus Christ, then how come the churches that we can definitely prove is not of God is saying the same things we are saying? 
we can look at it and say it's because I'm one of those persons who look at things in a, in a, in a, in a, not in the highfalutin, but I bring it on to ground level. And I'm saying, listen, but the Lord gave us a tip, a perfect example of what happened in Egypt. Yes. You have a lot of magicians out there. Even you understand? Until today. Even until today. Yes. Because things have not changed. It just technology changed. But the demons and devils are the same. The same things that Moses had to battle back in the days. We are still battling the same things today. And that is why we are saying to you, listen, you have to tap into Almighty God so that you are not deceived. Amen. So that you are not lured away by these things. Yes, God is a God of miracle because I am a miracle. I am a recipient of God's miracle because I was dying when I was what, 28. Mm -hmm. There about when I had my Younger. last child, young, young child. Wow. My heart was bad. I had a very bad heart and I didn't know I was dying. And the Lord healed me. So I am a recipient of that. Yes. You understand? Because of my bad eating habits yes. and everything, I poor was killing habit. poor eating habits. Yes. I was killing myself. And that is why now I'm trying my best now to, to make sure, say, trust me, that me is change working. that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So, so you are now saying that you were supposed to. I'm 53 years old. I'm still alive. Thanks be to Almighty. We're talking God. about miracle working God. I know that you are miracle working God because I am a recipient. Because I am still that. on top of my grave. Exactly. And that is why I want you to understand. Listen carefully. The reason why we come on the platform every Sunday, or try to come on the platform every Sunday, is not because we want the likes, you know. Because we could have been selfish and said, listen to me. God. Just wait till my time come because no. everybody loves fame, mm -mm. including me. No, Every, I, I, I'm, I'm one of those persons. Well, me I tell you, me, she, me love fame. Me no love it. Me I tell, no, no disrespect, but me just want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Me just want to show you. If, 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 to me mankind love fame make the deal with Adam. i think eve was curiosity it was exactly curiosity exactly Lord and she made away. the deal with, with the devil and adam was in the picture now when adam realized that he wasn't in the picture adam now made the deal with the devil and adam lack on eve curiosity <laughs> was what listen when i want to call it curiosity there was the one mm. adam lack on eve so eve lack on adam adam lack on eve now look at it this way what i want to point out is let us go back to genesis mm. In the book of Genesis, okay, so Genesis 27, we didn't finish there. So 26, 7 said what? So God created man in his so own So God image. created man in his own image. Uh, yes? And, and, and in the, in the, the image. Created, so when the Bible, Bible said God, God created man in his own image, what it is actually saying is that we are first spiritual mm -hmm. in, and then physical. Mm -hmm. All right? And then what? In the image of God created he him, male and female. In the image of God them. created them both male and female. female. Yeah. That's what the Bible means. He created both male and female. At what? The same time. That's what happened, you know. He created both male and female at the same time. So what does this entail? You say the same right where me have as a man, or the same right my wife as, as a woman. In other words, I am the head of the house. My wife is a brain. About the two of us work together. And the, listen to me. You ever see a, you ever see a, a man a walk when you have no head? Pan him back, body. And uh, listen to me. One thing I can tell you. This is what I can tell you. Even though man is a head, a woman I know the funny, keep him together. And you know the funny thing about all of what you're saying? And even 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 if you look back at the topic that we're speaking about unity in the body of Christ, the sad part about it because of the disunity in the body of Christ, because everybody is trying to outdo each other. That's what and Satan that brings. is why the division in the in, in, in the body of Christ is causing the church to be powerless. Diamond. And that is well on one second, okay. and that is why the the, the 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 world can view the church as foolishness. And that is why the, the, risk, this, the disrespect and the ridicule that the church is facing today is happening because of the disunity of the, of, of the saints. 
Everybody has tried to outshine each other. Everybody has tried to make it look like, say, oh, I am more powerful than you. I am more holy than spirit, you. Yeah. The competitive spirit is in the body of Christ. And that is what is destroying the church. Mm-hmm. And that is why you have so much false what you call it now, um, prophets are reigning. Why? Because of the because disunity. Because of the disunity. Because the I want to outshine you. Everybody want to outshine each other. Everybody is just there grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. Foster. Everybody want to, 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 to. It is, Foster. everybody is trying to, 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 um, what you call it now? To outshine each to other. Star. Everybody wants to be the star boy and the star girl. And because of that, the church, the, 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 the sinners are going to hell. Yes. A lot of persons are destined to hell because when they see what is happening in the body of Christ, they're saying, I don't want to be a part, a part of those do, a, that. I don't want to be a part of that okay. because of PA man-made rules. Yes. Um, Lata, I want to say something. Yes, Lata, go ahead, go ahead. please. The, the problem is um, the church wants to be like the world. The yes. church is taking on worldly habits. Mm. And, you know, so that's where, you no. Know, and then you were saying about um, about the false prophets um, earlier. The, from before the, before the Bible, there have been false prophets and they're still operating. Exactly. They're operating. And so the thing now is uh, we have to have discernment and get to know Christ so we can know the real McCoy from mm-hmm. the knockoff. Exactly. Because the thing is in a lot of that is why we have been harping on persons developing a relationship with Almighty God. Because we you I use the example of Abraham. Yes. Remember, Abraham never nobody had preached to him. Yeah, they were preaching to him. His father was preaching fa- to him. But what his father was actually was giving him was, was yes, it was, false. It was false. Yes. But and Abraham said, I don't want this. I don't want that. There must be somebody who created all of this. Because if Mark, Mark, you know, men, mankind was created to, to worship. worship. And we're going to worship something. And that is why yes. some of them create. In, 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 with, with the children of Israel, they, they were saying that Moses was taking too long to come. So they were created for their own image of, 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 the, of, of, the, of the calf mm-hmm. and they go worship it. Mm-hmm. But we are saying, listen, you have to forge that relationship with Almighty God. No God for yourself. So if you are praying about something, the Lord will either tell you, say yes, no, go on, are not yet. Are not yet. Yes. Yeah. You understand? But because we want this and we want it now. Yes. We are, that is how we end up a play into, uh, allow ourselves to be deceived by these so-called hurry come ups. Spirits, yeah. You understand? But, but this and that is, is why divination spirit is so rampant in our churches because man, have a, because we are so drawn mm-hmm. by curiosity, the same thing that Lord Adam and Eve away mm-hmm. from the presence of Almighty God is the very same thing that is luring us away. The pledges of this earth, the material things of this earth is what is luring us away from the presence of Almighty God. There is nothing wrong with us. We've been being, being prosperous because the Lord said we must be prosperous and, yes. and, and be of good health. So prosperity is of God because when 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 Solomon went to God, yes. for knowledge was a man understanding, money come with it too, wealth came with it too. Yes. But at the same time, the motive. Yeah. Because Solomon went to God with a pure motive. Yeah. He really wanted to, to be able to lead effectively. And that is why he asked the Lord to guide him. But what are our motives when we go to God for material things? What is the motive behind it? What do we want? Do we want God or we want the material things? Yes. And that is what is causing our churches to be in the mess that we are in today. Yes, this it. unity is rampant in the body of Christ. And that is why the ch- I feel so embarrassed sometimes when I see, you know, when, when, when there's, there's some disgrace in the body of Christ. And when you look at how the church is ridiculed, persons reach a stage you now where they say, listen, I don't want nobody to invite me to no church. You it is so them. bad. You can't, them. you can't blame them. And even that because... Before earlier on, I was saying that listen, demons and devils team up together. There is more unity in the body of the devil than in the body of Christ, and we need to change that. True. We need to change that. God now go tell me everything, and God now go tell you everything. But everything come together to make one 
Yes. He may go give you peace, Latoya. He may go give Sister um, Lover another peace. Sister Carrion get another peace. Um, Galaxy 2820, Sister Beverly get another peace. Brother Max go get another peace. And I said, the whole of we get a little peace. Yes. You understand me? But all of us come together to make one body. Look at the unity between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. No one body. A one Godhead in a with three compartments. What a lot of and people. it's the same way mankind is made. Mm -hmm. With body, soul, and with spirit. No, but no one body. No one body I look on right here, so. But a three compartment that make me up. And all I'm saying that, listen, we need to be unit. There must be unity in the body of Christ. We need to stop this foolishness. And that is why we are perishing. People are perishing in their sin because they're looking at our life. Because we're like, now shine. The light now shine. We look at all of these man-made rules and all of this foolishness because what is happening in the church is emulating the world. We're not separate and apart. You know? We bring in the devilish music and we put gospel words to it. Come on. Satan was the author of music. Or is the author of music. We are going to hear a, a song that is so dirty and you're going to go and you're going to say, God say, you have to change it round and put in godly word. No. First thing you need to understand. This song you was first dedicated the to the devil. To the devil. That is the first the thing. The beat was dedicated yes. to the devil. So um, how just come a minute, just a minute. Latoya, your hand is still up. You want to say something? You, still, you have something to say, Latoya? Or it was they before? Like to put it down, but my oh, that's okay. Oh, we just want to drop that. We just want to drop that. Because oh. remember, you know, this is a classroom. So once you okay. sit and up, we're All going right. to okay. something. All right? So you, you can go ahead. Right. So, right. So you can't have a, a beat yes. or a rhythm that was dedicated to the devil. Are you going to take that very said rhythm and say, okay, I'm going to bring it into the body of Christ. The lost spirit that it's, was attached to, to that music. It's going, to be it's going to be transferred. It needs to. Yes. Because whether we want to accept it or not, and every dance, dance, I believe without a shadow of a doubt that our thing that we call dance hall is devil music. Nobody can tell me that. I believe without a shadow of a doubt that dance hall is of the devil. And when we hear gospel music, I rock the dance hall. Come on. Then call it dance hall gospel. Come on. There's not name dance hall gospel, Glenn. Not the name so. Okay. I believe that we need to clean up we act as children of the most high God. We need to clean up we act. Our three quarters of us are going to be left behind. Well, what we want to what we want to point out is very simple. All right. We don't want to stray from the fact. All right. We are not straight. No, 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 no. We, we, we're not about you now. We just mm -hmm. are making you know. the, the point is when we started out, we said God comes for the church. Mm -hmm. All right. So we, we you're still in line, you know, but I, I just want to, mm -hmm. to God come for the church. Now the question is, whose church are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> that is the question because if I am teaching that there's three Jesus I'm going to tell you that there's three church yes so the question now is which one of them which you belong one of the to church you belong to? and the only way you can know which one you belong to tell us something what almighty God if genuinely know that you want it Yes. But he must also say, seek ye first the kingdom the of heaven. The principle, That's the principle. Is that you need to seek? Yes, you need to seek. Okay. And, and you see, what we have learned, we have learned a lot of religious practices. All right, we're, we're going to go. We're going to go. And because of those religious we're practices, going to go Bible, no. those religious practices is drawing us Away out of Christ. the presence of Almighty God. All right. So the first thing we need to understand, in order for us to go anywhere further, we have to first identify who we are. Yes. Prophet Slavern, you're you're I realize that you <laughs> praise the Lord. You need to mute. You okay. need to mute her. Just mute her. We're just gonna mute you. You can go and listen, Prophet Slavern. You can just go and continue to listen. Okay, Amen. Right. So we put you on mute, but you can continue to listen. Okay, well, Whenever you want to say something, you open your mic and you can say something. You can say something at any point. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in, in um, St. John chapter 19, verse 19, Pilate wrote. 
And he put on the cross. And Pilate wrote a title and put on the cross. And the, and, and the writing was. And the writing was. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Now, the reason why I want to point out this is because I want you to go to St. John, um, the, um, the 25th verse now. So here we saw three cross. And on the three cross, we have three Jesus. And for the first time, Read, listen carefully. Read now. And there stood by the cross. And there Jesus. stood by the cross of Jesus. His mother. His mother, and, who is called Mary. And his mother's sister, Mary. And his mother's sister, who is called Mary. And the wife of Cleophas. Yes. And Mary Magdalene. And Mary Magdalene. So for the first time in a Bible, we saw three Mary under the cross of Jesus. Which one are the Marys? The right? question is, the question is, was, was it coincidence? Three Jesus on the cross and three Mary under the cross at the same time? Let us view, the, let us go zoom in now. What do I mean by this? Mm -hmm. Just before the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he went inside the church because there was only one church at the time. Yes. One church. So Satan have to go to the church mm -hmm. because we see it in Job chapter one. Mm -hmm. The son of man come together and Satan also turn up. In mm -hmm. other words, the church was a reporting center where everybody have to turn up and give a report to God. Yes. So what happened now? When God, Jesus of Nazareth came now, he said, listen to me. All these years, my church should have been a hospital repairing the damage mm -hmm. that mankind and Satan would have caused. Mm -hmm. I hear when you hear him say, listen, when he say, listen. But you, referring to mankind and Satan, have turned it into a den of thieves. Mm -hmm. What does it mean by this? Adam make a deal. Listen, uh, he first met the deal, you know. In other words, at uh, the church first met the deal. Mm -hmm. And this priest accept it, Adam, yes. accept it. Mm -hmm. So the church was actually a business. Mm -hmm. And even until today, the church is a business. Tithes and offering. Nothing wrong with tithes and offering. We're not going to go there. But nothing wrong with tithes and offering. What I want to point out is very simple. Tithes and offering are supposed to be personal between you and God. Mm -hmm. So now, man, not supposed to tell you how much for true. Uh, how much for, because I know him, I go with the money. <laughs> no, don't laugh. Me not laugh. I know him go with the money. So if you give, you give because you want to give. Yes. Or the Lord tell you. Or the Lord tell you to give. Not because you're compelled to give. Yes. All right? You give because. Yes, we freely. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what they didn't tell you is that the offering that you should be given to God. Should be your lifestyle. Yes. They make it look like to hell with you. You can go to hell, but give me the 10%. Mm -hmm. And that is why a lot of pastors don't tell people the truth. Why? Because when they go to Bible school, because I used to go to Bible school and the Lord taught me. When you go to Bible school, them tell you, say, listen to me, never let the congregation see your weakness. Mm -hmm. And that is why a lot of people have a problem with me. Anytime they come back, they say, listen to me. Me tell my wife, you say anytime me attack, me me talk. You know, without God, me no nothing. You know, let, let me say something, and that a lot of persons need to understand. We, as believers, we put a lot of pressure also on the or on leaders. Yes. Because what we need to understand that leaders are human beings. Human beings, just like you. They struggle. And just like no, and just, and just like oh, you go tile it, them go tile it too. Them struggle. Yes. Just the same. They have weaknesses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold on, the same. Hold on. Prophet is not Go ahead. Brother Smith, but it says in the Bible, right? Yes. Back in the biblical days, the offering was supposed to go to the priest, and the priest was supposed to take that offering and help whoever needed help from the exactly. community. Exactly. Not to go in the not to go into the pastor's pocket to buy his Bentley or to buy a, a private jet. You understand? True. True. That's, where, that's where they're going. That's where they go wrong. Yes. Exactly. So when the Lord was telling them, when the Lord was telling them, you know, listen to me, you rob me. He was not talking to the, the saints, you know. No. He was talking about the pastor. pastor. Very good, very good example, yes, Prophet yes, Slatia. Yes, yes. And, you and, know, the, and the pastor them now turn it up our way and yes. turn it and twist it. But guess what happened? If you know God for yourself, yes. then you would understand. That when somebody gonna come to you and I tell you, say, listen to me, come with everybody, come with we want 10 people or 20 people come with 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 with, with, with um two thousand dollars. 
There's a special blessing here. No friend, you hear that? Something in it should not go off and say, that's not God. Because God said there's no favoritism in him. Everybody is level. Everybody is one. So if I'm going to bless 20 people, I'm, if I 20 people in the room, I'm going to bless the 20 people. Yeah. Unless the 20 people inside there, some of them don't want my blessing. Yes. But God is going to bless. If say make the rain fall upon the just and the, and the unjust. Yes. So if God can make rain fall upon the just and the unjust, unless you don't want that blessing. And but that's why they blessing, killed Jesus. You know, that's the why they blessing killed Jesus is there for everybody. You know, that's not why they because Jesus. I have more money than you, I'm going to get more blessing. Because if that was the case, no poor people would have been making it into heaven. Mm -hmm. It would be pure rich people. But God is saying no. And that's why they killed Jesus. God is saying no. Listen why they killed Jesus. I two things make them kill Jesus. Two things. Let us go back to the Bible. All right. So we point out that there for the first time we saw three Jesus on the cross. Mm -hmm. And then for the first time we saw three Mary. Now, when the Bible tells you about Mary, Mary represents church. Mm -hmm. That's what it represents. And that is why you hear the, 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 the Catholic Church, Holy Mary, Mother of God, because they're actually saying Mary is the church. All right. So right here, when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, listen carefully why they killed Jesus of Nazareth. When he came, he came for woman. Me say that from, from the beginning. He came for the woman. He came for his church. That's what he came for. He came for his church. He came for the woman. All right? Now, the reason why he came for the woman is very simple. Don't, don't move the scripture there. Now, I'm going to show you why God came for the woman. You see, mankind, very selfish. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Mankind is very selfish. I'm going to show you why Jesus came for the woman. Now, Jesus came for the woman simply because of this, this very verse. Now, tell you, say, you, see, you, see, you see the Bible? Yes, All right. Sir. Listen what he said. Read. Watch. Read. And the Lord God called unto Adam. Okay, and listen carefully. Him, this, is how it this is how it should be read. And the Lord God called to the priests of the church mm -hmm. and said, where are you? Didn't I leave you in charge of the church? <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Here with, here with the pastor said no. And he said, I heard that. Voice and the, the pastor Lord. said, I heard your voice, but because me start walking sin and, and I disobedience, was afraid I was afraid I because naked. I know that your Holy Spirit is no longer with me. And I hid myself. So because me know the Holy Covering Spirit is no God. longer with me, me take with myself. <laughs> Why? Listen carefully. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? And the Lord said to the pastor, who tell you that you don't have the Holy Ghost anymore? Uh, so and then, the, the, listen to me, hear what the man said now. Hear what God have asked him now. I have you start walking at the spirit of disobedience? Where I've commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. Which tree was he talking about? Didn't you, did you listen to Satan, the tree of knowledge of good and evil? I did not, I tell you not to listen to him. Prosperity gospel. Ah. Did I tell you not to follow the signs and wonders? Ah, exactly. Did I not tell you to stop follow the oil of hold me? Okay. And what did, and what, and what did the man say now? And he said, the woman whom thou ah, said me. That's why me tell you, say, that's why me tell you, say, God come for the woman. Here where Adam said no. You see the woman where you give me, in other words, you, you see the bride where you give me, in other words, the church where you give me, the responsibility where you give me, I hit cause me problem. All along me when I do good until you give me the church to govern. No <laughs> laugh. So Adam put out his wife. Oh, and because Adam, listen to me, any day, me, me always tell them, you know, when they come up to me and they said, Why your wife look good? Me said, Take your, take your eye for my wife. Ask her if I let me tell you. Take, listen to me. Take anything you want. Me have one house where me have pay for me. I don't pay for it. Take me house and go on. But do not play with me. Listen to me. I don't ramp with When it comes to my wife, nobody don't play with my wife because my wife is in the brain. You think me I go box bread off of my table? Come on. Me no, listen to me. Anything don't have ground, you can't take it up. That is called scum. But no come from my table. Listen to me. Me a yard brother in Christ. When me no damn me yard, no come on me yard. <laughs> me don't talk. Me don't talk. Principle is principle. Mm. Principle is principle. If me no damn me yard, no come on me yard. So let us put it back in biblical terms now. Exactly. Adam decides, say, me no want Eve anymore. So Satan said, okay, give me yard. You know, as you just said what you said, 
That is why a lot of pastors also are very protective of their pulpit. Exactly. They don't want any, anybody in them pulpit. Some of them are selfishness too. Some of them is selfishness. And greed. And greed. So talk it like how it is. That's because what I want you to what I want to point out to you, listen carefully. Read again. Which one? The same one. Um, and the man said. And Adam said, in other words, the and the pastor man. said, the church where you give me. She gave it. The woman. She is attracting the demonic spirit, and as she had a problem, so she, you know, what is I had him a blame the church. No, no, but he was supposed to be the leader. Listen to me. Let me break it down. Remember one time, you know, Mister this particular pastor. Me not call no name. Yes, please don't. Gigi Cooper. And you tell me no call no name. So you leave me alone. Me tell say so once you tell me, don't tell me how it. So I meet this pastor and he in this I say him him when me go to the man and I say, Thus said the Lord, him man, take the word when me say no, and him go back. The Lord said you should repent. And I'm like, then are you the, 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 the then are you the repent and should I start with me, brother? Because what you want to point out is that he might live right, you know, but the body now live right. Come on. And that is but the blame game head Adam head. was playing here. But if the head of the stream is dirty. Exactly. The rest of the stream want to be dirty. If stream. God come to me and said, listen to me, repent, Brother Simit. Brother Simit is going to repent, you know. Amen. Brother Simit is going to repent. And so this is what happened. Adam decides, say, listen to me. What Adam should have done now is fall into repentance yes. for, the church. for the church. But Adam start blame yes. the church. Mm -hmm. That is what happened. And when he start blaming the church now, that's why God has to come back. Because, because him no one the responsibility for the woman and, anymore. And, and, and put it in a today's terms. Yes. You do have a lot of pastors who blame them churches. Blame the church blame, members. Blame the church members. When are them are the problem? I say, are them are the problem? When you feed them. Because exactly. if you now feed them, if you now give them the right things, then why do you think I got up? Them all because running belly. what is happening in Remember when Minda grew up? Hold on, hold on, just a minute. Minda know if this admit. Minda know if this admit. But I want to point out the same thing. It's saying the same thing. May I support what they're saying? Yeah, but remember, I was gonna say. just relax. And then you will understand what I said. Mm -hmm. When Minda grew up, them always tell me, when a woman has breastfeed, she shouldn't eat curry. I don't know if it's a myth. It's a myth. Because when you eat, no, well, let me talk with them when you used to believe. Mm -hmm. Them believe that so when you eat curry and, and uh, feed the baby, the baby belly is going to run. What I want to point out is very simple. If you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage. Mark, you know, whatever is go, whatever the mother eats, it goes to make the breast milk. Exactly. And the baby accepts it. So when a pastor go blame the congregation instead of blaming when feed the congregation, and that's what Addison may go. Because what, are, what, are, what is happening you now? We realize that a lot of churches are mixing the gospel with tradition tradition yeah with the customs that we were used to so it's so what happened now you have the pokomena spirit that mix up yes so it's a whole heap of mixing of one so you find that if, if, even though something that we see happening they are not biblical because i never seen a holy water the holy water come from first thing you need to understand jesus is called the water of life so they actually use the physical water instead of the spiritual water. The spiritual water is supposed to be what you use to cleanse with. The body That's why the salt of the earth. So how come the, the salt, salt of the earth, earth? meaning that our lifestyle, we are the exactly. salt of the earth. So what they do, they use a the physical thing instead of the spiritual. So where the thing. olive oil come from? The olive oil mean that we are, are full of grace and truth. That's what olive mean. And that is why as soon as the ark rests upon the mountain, you know, the ark rests upon the mountain, mm -hmm. the mountain, everything in the Bible is significant. Mm -hmm. The mountain represents the tallest mountain he said mm. the mountain represent christ yeah, exactly the same mountain listen to me the same mountain where satan can christ it's when it's, he answered cast himself down so everything in the bible is symbolic and uh, the song said and christ yes. is solid rock and, and christ is, so the mountain us, yes the other. mountain the, the, the ark rests upon the mountain in other words the church should rest upon the mountain all other ground is sinking sand. exactly so what happened now? When it all the olive oil come in now, it said as soon as the bird went out, the bird came back an olive tree leaf, and it showed that mercy and grace. That's how olive oil come in. Now olive oil used to represent what we call the Holy Spirit, but after Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, we don't need olive oil anymore. We need the real thing. Basically, only what Christ said that we are to do. That is exactly. what we are supposed to be doing. 
But brother Smith, where are you headed? Because remember the emblem of the body of yeah, Christ. But, Christ but said, he was the one who said that we should said do that. To do it. Whenever we do it, exactly. remember what basically him said, remember what I did for you. In other words, if it, you commemorate it, is to remember is in remembrance of what he has done for us. Not only that, but what we want to bring across is that any spirit speaking to you, if you can't find an example in the Bible, it's not God. That's so what we want to do. You tell the same must the olive oil and paint your house. You remember when you used to be a painter? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we paint down with God. children, them. Yes. Take olive oil and paint them all cross them. them face. Yes, yes. <laughs> cross them in face. And we are you ever got some church and pastor take olive oil and mark cross and them face? That demon is here. When I do all of those practices, this very same demon in my children at my house. Yeah, because so what you'd have done is open up the portal. Because mm -hmm. in the room of the, when we used to work over there, that we used to do, take the olive oil and um, Mark the, the T, the cross, the people face. That's demonic worshiping, and that is not of God. Mm -hmm. All right? I just want to point out that. So you depend, how the hell me I pray the demons will live? Because you turn yourself into a portal, which we call the spiritual gift. You turn yourself or you turn your home. Yes. And, you know, as I should, as, as we had mentioned earlier on about praying, you know, we need to understand that sometimes some things that are affecting you yes. are things that came back through our ancestral lineage. Yeah. And a lot of us don't realize that when our forefathers committed these, as uh, I will call it now, against God. Against <laughs> Almighty Praise God. Praise the Lord. That's it all, that's comes all best down it do. yeah. to our bloodline. Because when somebody I say has to pay that for it. We, we need to reject our families. No. We're not saying that you are to reject, but you're going to reject the practices. And so many times you need to reject them. Some of these too. practices that we have, we realize that the people are taking up nowadays are denying the business. It's let, let, us frank, let us be frank to it. We know what. Hold on. We're next thing sometimes we're, you have to let go some family member. Yeah, hold on. Not, we know, no, no you, you say we don't feel like yes, family member, not, but sometimes you have to let go. Wait now. Yes. One of the things that we also need to understand that I'm, I'm speaking about the practices that we do. No, because, sometimes you have to let go some family member. Wait now. Abraham of Tilly going further. Yes. So and sometimes I also have to some say the practices too, because I'm just highlighting some of the practices. Some people now change. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Listen Hallelujah. to me. Hallelujah. You see, my Hallelujah. wife, my wife, listen to me carefully. You see, my wife, my wife is a family woman and she 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 will try to uh, she had a better side of me. Me not lie. Me a rough cut. Ah, so make no, no no serious me had a rough cut so my wife kind of smooth down everything but me chat it all listen to me some family member you just have to get rid of them because them not change and when them not change you have to get rid of them abraham realized same father not change and god realized same father not change and god have to say move from son of your father why because me want to bless you and me can't bless you beside your father. I understand all of that what you're saying no well we need but i remember I, this is a platform yes, we need to talk I was hold on max wants to say something you know, right, Max. I, yeah, I agree with you guys. You know, you're right, though, the prophetess Simi. For real, man. You have some people where all of them put on clean, all of them beard and put on clean clothes. They still not clean. They still, still think. Them still, still, still think. Don't. Don't. Exactly. Yeah, man. Them right. Back to man. See you yes, man. Yes, yes, man. Yes, man. Yes. get rid of them. Yeah. What yeah, are they? Yes. No changes, man. Not, they never listen to me slow play, you know. They never listen to what Miss Lua is saying. When your father come back to see, you have to say, poo, they can't change. No more than they can't change. You see, one of the things that we need to understand also is that we, 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 we I'm looking at the fact of, of what is happening with the churches today, mm -hmm. why we are in this state of stagnation, why we're in this state where we are being deceived because of the practices yes. that we have carried over. You understand? We learn these things from family, 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 from our mother and our father, and we continue with them. So we do not take the time to know God for ourselves yes. and to recognize that Yes, they're saying God is doing a new thing. But did we take the time to find out if it's just, really God? Just continue. Just a second. Excuse me, everyone. I'm just going to just move forward. Just one time. One time. Yeah. We need to understand that at the end of the day, right, we have a responsibility to know God for ourselves. Abraham could have said, yes, I'm a father. And when my father say, I said, God. Abraham decided that, no. 
I am not going to follow my father's practices. I am going to know God for myself. I need to find out who the true and living God is. And that is why we are saying to you this morning, as believers, we have a responsibility to know Almighty God for ourselves, forge that relationship with him. So even if persons are giving us, our leaders are giving us one information, we can dispute it and say, no, that can't be God. That can't be God. We must not be like lambs to be slaughtered. No. We must be of the mindset where God is saying, listen to me. I said this is what God say, And because you now say what God say, never going to take on myself. And that is why those persons were nearly murdered the other day. Because they were brainwashed. They didn't choose to find out who God really is. And that is why every nook and cranny, the enemy can raise up him, 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 him agents to lead God's people astray. Why? Because we did not take the time to know God for ourselves. And because of the disunity in the body of Christ, nobody has time to really take the time out to come together as one body. Everybody wants to be the, 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 the star boy and the star girl. Okay. So we're going to read again from Genesis chapter uh, 3, verse 13. And what it says? Read. And the Lord said unto the woman. And the Lord God said to the church. What is this that thou hast done? What is it that you have accepted? The divinational spirit, the false prophecy, the occultic behavior. Mm -hmm. And the woman said, the serpent. The man-made religion that the, 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 the that's what. The, so what it is now saying is that, the, 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 you, know, when, you remember when you when I go to, to church, and you say, you can't pierce your ears, you can't do this, you can't. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Lie from the pit of hell. Man-made rules. Man-made rules, religion. Mm -hmm. All right? You wear a little knob in your ears, modest and everything. All the time, all right? God have a problem with it if you start idolizing. When you start idolizing. So all of these man-made religion was made. And what the Lord said? And the Lord said unto the serpent. And the Lord said unto Satan. Because thou hast done this. Because you have done this to the church. Thou art cursed above all. Catholic. Because you have done this to the church. You are now cursed. And you can't get forgiveness. Thou hast cursed. No one then could repent when he was on the cross. Above all. <laughs> no, no, no. The one that was on the left hand side was yes, representing Satan. Satan yeah. And that is why he couldn't repent. Mm -hmm. Because he was cursed from here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Just like a mankind repented, he could have repented. But he was cursed from here. God said, listen to me. You cannot. You are cursed. Continue. You are cursed above all cattle and yes. above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and dust. In other words, and upon your belly shall you go. In other words, and upon mankind you shall wiggle and dine and everything. Amen. And mankind shall be your food. And dust shall thou And mankind shall be your food. In other words, you're going to deceive mankind daily. So you're going to eat up mankind's soul. That's what it means. Thou art cursed above all cattle and yes. every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go. So you are going to crawl over mankind with your deception and everything. That's what I mean. And then you shall eat mankind. Because remember, mankind comes from the dust. Everything is symbolic in the Bible. All right? But here what God is going to do now. So he's telling Satan what is going to happen to the world. All right? But he must going to say now, I will now revive or reconnect. Ah. Between thee and the woman. But you see, when it comes to me, church, me tell you, say, Christ come for the woman. Me tell you. seed and her seed. But when it comes to the head. when it comes to my church, me I go make a separation between my church and your church. You see why you have the two extra cross? Mm -hmm. Because when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came, he was fulfilling this. He came for the world, he came for the woman. Mm -hmm. And he run out Satan out of the church and said, Listen to me, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Because right here in Genesis, Satan take over the church. Mm -hmm. Mankind gives Satan the church. Mm -hmm. So in the book of Matthew, you know, Jesus of Nazareth come and reclaim the church. Mm -hmm. Before he go, he said, listen to me, Peter, you are now the true Adam. 
All right? That's what did happen. You are now the true Adam. All right? And so you are now going to take over the church. What mm -hmm. Adam left off, you are now going to take over. Mm -hmm. And so what he did, he gave him now the authority to take over. What do I mean by this? It's very simple. All right? Jesus of Nazareth said, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it in a den of thieves. So he run out mankind and he run. So you know what mankind do? They go start for their own church. That's why you have the extra cross, you know? Because, listen carefully, the cross represents the church of Christ. That's all. Mm -hmm. So why did you have two extra cross? Why? Because the extra cross on the right represents mankind version of church. Mm -hmm. Because when Christ came, them no one change. Mm -hmm. So them say, okay, we were alternative. And then go start for them own church. All right? Now, in a mankind church, Eve and Mary should keep silent. You, you, you see which one I end with this? In a mankind church, Eve in a mankind church, you know, you have to keep silent. Mm -hmm. But you can't keep silent in anybody of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know. Mm -hmm. But you keep silent in a mankind church. The reason for that is very simple. When the woman was caught in the bed of fornication, I know she alone did it, you know. Where was the man? The man was protected by mankind law. Mm -hmm. So the woman was seen as a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. As she... Make the man fall in the middle of fornication. And that is why you don't have too much woman in the Bible. Because Defimotis. woman was seen as all that. What if you notice Adam yes. was blaming Eve? Exactly. As, uh, uh, Adam was the one who released the curse. Yeah. Mankind is the one yeah. who released the curse yes. over his wife. Yes. You see why Mr. God have to come? Listen to me. Today, let us do a survey. That is why I said Christ had to come to level the playing field. Let us do a survey today. Let us do a survey today. The survey is, is very simple. If the woman them stop go at church, you know what church lockdown do? Yes. Because three quarters of the time the woman in a church anyway. The men are not there. Men are, there. Men are egoistic and they are and dummies. Also Natural dummies. Women are actually women who are leading their homes. Exactly. And the reason for that is very simple. So Adam like, said, listen to me. I was, I was married. I was a single mother because... My first husband was never there. And I had to be the one who lead the children to Christ. I had to be the example. I was the one who had to basically say, God, you have to help me grow these children because there was no father there. So God, you have to help me because I recognize from early that if you do not ask the Lord to help you. He can't help you. He yes, the principle. you have to seek help. Yes. And also I recognize that I couldn't be it alone yes. because it was never intended for the woman to be alone exactly. for the family. Exactly. From Genesis because chapter God is a three. Of family. Yes. yes. So when Adam said no, listen, where we just put in the blank space. When Adam said, listen to me, I do not want the responsibility of my family anymore. Mm -hmm. That's when Satan stepped in. Yes. Because when he rejected the woman, mm -hmm. him now make a space for the man. For the devil. For the man. Mm -hmm. No wonder we have same sex marriage right now. Mm -hmm. Because what happened is Adam said, We don't want the vagina. Mm -hmm. Give me the penis. Mm -hmm. That's what Adam but said. But the same thing, women do the same thing. We don't want the penis to give us the, to give us the, the vagina. Exactly. Because and that is why can remove the, the divination come. Indeed. Yes. And that is where the divination come. Well, uh, Prophet Max, go ahead. ahead. Prophet Max. Max? No, to the internet. The internet. Uh, go uh, ahead. Go ahead, ahead now. Greetings, and I, you know, so that's why they have the, the, the Catholic Church, and you hear father this and yes. mother this and mother yes. that, yes. all of them suck the stem from yes. all of them suck the, you know. Yes. yes. But you have priests, and you have, and you have yes. none, you know, them suck the stem from, you know. Yes, because so, what, so, No, go ahead, mom. What has happened, you know, Max, is that I believe that they refuse to accept Jesus, Jesus of, Nazareth. of Nazareth. And yep. that is why they have gone back into the old practices. They want yep. to go back to the old practices because the old practices is beneficial, is beneficial to, to them. them. Because yeah. they are seen as the star, the, the star boys and the star mm -hmm. girls. Not yep. only that. Yeah. Not only that. But I was reading Genesis 38. Yes. First thing you need to understand. You said Jacob, mm -hmm. what we call Israel. Yes. He was a very selfish man. Very selfish. He was a very selfish mm -hmm. man. Listen to me. Israel recognized woman as Arlat. Don't laugh. I'm dead serious. 
it's serious. Mm -hmm. Israel recognized woman as honored, and based upon Israel, Israel could have sleep with as much as possible woman, and he was not ever. Isn't it the same thing happening there now? They know, that's why I meant to say they don't want to change because if they change, the they must have thing. one woman, ah. one man. They know one that. So what we want to do is play the field. And then you play the field. That is field. where you have the Muslim. And then also, you know, the Muslim can have more one woman. the same thing happening yeah. today where you find that they, the women have to tell, tell themselves, cover up themselves, mm. because what you're going to cause the man. You know, so I should cover you. Cover me. You know, I'm up since you. Men are thing. selfish. Because they do not want to exercise self-control. Yes. So and instead of so instead of dealing with my sex demons, instead of dealing with my sex me try to cover it up. Me try to blame the other person yes, yes, and yes. say it's to them fault. Now the same when a man will break a woman and then turn around and say because if you didn't dress properly, then me wanna me wanna smoke me wanna trouble you. Come on. Then could it be that if me the country will the sex demons upon me, then me would then me you. wanna go to that? Praise the Lord. But so it, if you understand, thing, this is what happening, happening in the Bible. In our churches today, yeah. these Everybody so blaming called each other. men have. Put themselves in a position to say that they are celibate and they want the soul out to Christ. But at the same time, in the dark of the night or in the, in the behind closed doors, you are molesting the children and you are molesting the, 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 the nuns and you are molesting everybody. And then you come upon us wherever you have your meetings, come pretend like you're holy. Amen. And so what happened is that they would have to taught um, Paul. He was a Paul. Was and in the same Paul, way some Catholic. of these leaders. Yes. In our other regular churches, then yes, who no so you have the greed in you the money, the love of money, mm -hmm. which is the root of all evil, the Bible said, and then they know so they have a problem with lust, and they will secretly come from the pulpit a morning time I preach, and then I lost half of the sister in the pew, and I lost half of the young teenagers them in the pew. The ones that you are supposed to be protecting, just a minute, you, just are, a you are you are destroying. Just a minute. Just a minute. Mm. The realm of the spirit change, everyone, and so we are going to go into a realm of prayer. Okay, okay. me would understand why. We're going up to We're that going time. to twelve o'clock yes. here in Jamaica. Let's so the realm of the spirit change, and, and so we Christ have to know um, put God in control. In control. All right. So why? everyone, I greet you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. And so the realm of the spirit changes. Amen. And so we are going to take a few minutes and we are going to pray. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Chevelle Franklin, you're looking for? On Christ the solid rock. On Christ the solid rock, I stand. Amen. All of the ground is sinking sand. So let me hear what you're saying here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No, we don't want that. Better yeah. go with George Banton and hear what he said. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. I like this old version. Yes. But Jesus' blood. Everyone, don't turn it up. Everyone on the platform, both platform, the Zoom and Facebook. I want you to take authority over your surrounding right now. Amen. I want you to take authority over your surrounding right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we take authority right now over the realm of the spirit. And we shut down every demon and devil that is now entering into the earthly realm. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan, you are a liar from the pit of hell. You have no authority over us anymore. You have no power over us anymore. We renounce and denounce your authority and your power right now. And we send it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be glorified. There is none like you in heaven. There's none like you in hurt. And so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we break every contract right now yes, that we have signed with the devil in our visions and dreams. And Father, if we have sinned against you in any shape or any form in our visions and dreams, God, we repent right now. 
And we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Yes, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, let your will be done in us right yes, now. God. Your divine will be done in us right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus yes, Christ of Nazareth. Let me you now. Continue to pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus yes, Lord. Christ of Nazareth, we come to you, God, to yes. glorify you. We come to you, God, to magnify you, the great I am. You are the Prince of Peace. Yes. You are God all by yourself, and we worship you this In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. Father God, help us, Lord, to build yes. our houses upon you. Upon you, the rock. Yes. Because everything else, God, is sinking sand. Mighty yes. God, help us to stand upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ name of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we come against every spirit of heaviness right now, every yes, spirit God. of depression right now. You know the heart of your people in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we put our concern on the cross right now and we leave it there right now. Satan, we speak to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So what is happening right now? I was praying, listen carefully. I was speaking and the, listen to me, the realm of the spirit change. So what God wants, he wants us to have a prayer session right now. Ah, God Almighty. You are going to let the demons know. Listen carefully. You are going to let the devil know that this is my home. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray together. I'm going to give you an example of how you should be praying. All right? You don't have to use the exact word, but this is how you should be praying. Repeat after me. Almighty God. Almighty God, this is my hope. This is my hope. And no demons and no devil. And no demons and devil can take authority in my home. Can take authority in my so home. So demons, I speak to you right now. So demons, I speak in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I know you pay bills in here. You are not the pay one who pay bills in here. So I come against you right now. So I come against you. And I rebuke you from my home. And I rebuke you from my home. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. This house belongs to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This house belongs to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I belong to Jesus Christ. This is how you should be praying, guys. This is how spiritual warfare is done. Satan, you are a liar. Satan, you are a liar. You are a deceiver. You are a deceiver. And I come against every religious spirit right now. And I come against every and I send them back right to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Father, into your hand, into your hand, I commit my spirit right I now. Into you. your hand, into your hand, I commit my house right I now. Commit my house. Turn it into your home. Turn it into your In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give you a house. I give you a house. I give you a house. Give me a home. Give me a home. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is how spiritual warfare is done. Once you pray like this, no demons from hell can't play with you. Amen. Sometimes the rim not change immediately, though, but you would have already made the decorations. Just like when you pray, listen to me, when you feel pain, and you take the painkiller, or you take the inner work right away, it dissolves first, break down first, and then it goes to the system. Amen. And, and same way, when you pray, allow God to do what he's doing. So may, may pause now. My wife is going to continue yes, from because, here. Yes, um, because as this should, as should Hallelujah. I what you're saying, that this thing is going to go down. This thing is going to go down. Yes. Everything. One of the things that we need to understand when you pray, you have to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you because there are areas that he will show you that needs to be corrected. Yes. So as you allow yourself to go to the scanning machine of the Holy Spirit, he will highlight to you the areas that you need to change. And that is why he needs you. He will say to you, listen, there's a spirit of infirmity, which is sickness on you. There's a spirit of, 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 of doubt in you. The Holy Spirit is going to tell you because he's a God that speaks. And there are times that we will have things belonging to the devil in our yard in our home. And that is why the Lord is saying, listen, I can't work in your life because you have the things of the devil in your presence. And this is what will attract demons and devils to your home. So you have to ask the Lord now to show you if there's anything in your place that needs to go, that will, not, that, that will hinder him from working in your life. We have to all, if you hear me keep harping on ancestral spirit, we have to understand that some of the things that are happening to us is not we do it, you know. 
It's not we did do it, but our ancestors did do it. Our father and our mother. Our father and our mother, our grandfather, fa our grandfather, our grandmother. great, 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 yes. great, great, they do it. But because no sin goes unpunished, it the Bible says course. it will go down to the fourth and fifth generation. And if you accept it, and if you and if we don't know to change yes. it, because sometimes you'll be praying for something you know, and it's not breaking, and you're wondering why. Because it's not you, you're just reaping the rewards that of was what down to you. was handed down it's to you. It's called inheritance. Yes. Generational curse. Yes. Some sicknesses are inherited. Yes. Yes, some and they call it they, they call it um gene generic arms. Um, Gen yes, some sickness. It, it's not generic, it, it is generational. Yes, curse. some sickness yes. were inherited, some yes. behavioral, because my father was a womanizer. Yes. And me sure for him, Father, before that was one. And that is why we realized that one time spirit did hatch on itself for me. And the same thing is try hatch on itself to one of my daughters. And that is why I'm saying to you, people, listen. We have to know God for ourselves so that the Lord can reveal to you these things because he is a God that speaks. He speaks through his words. He speaks to you directly and speak to you in your dreams. The devil, the same thing that God do, the devil do it too. Exactly. And that is why you have to be very careful, even the very visions and dreams that you get, that you have to ensure that you always shut them down. Always pray against always the vision and dreams. Always pray against them. And Amen. then you also have to release into God's hand for him to act on your behalf. Yes. Let me give you an example. The devil, before anything can happen in the natural, it has to be agreed on in, in the, the spiritual. spiritual. Yes. Eve was deceived because she agreed. She accepted. She accepted it. Yes. And that was in the, spirit, in the spiritual and realm. Because she and it that in the spirit, is why it passed, it curse, passed in the physical. In the realm. physical yeah. Because she agreed in the spiritual. In the spiritual. And that was how it was able to manifest in this in the physical. What we're actually saying is that when listen carefully, the Lord never give every temptation we are going through, if we pay special attention, mm -hmm. then once you call yourself a child of God, the Lord will never allow the devil to attack you without first giving you a warning. Yes. And so whenever you see the warning, please do not take it lightly. For, but, listen to me. Pray against your vision and dreams. One of the things that we realize um, a lot of persons are deceived by. They see this myth and foolish. So we used to have like when you dream, um, um, you call it thesis. You say, oh, money. It's not money. A disgrace. Yes. When you dream, say, oh, you see, oh, I saw my, 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 my mother or my father who was dead. They say, yes, my father, come protect me. You know, my dream. No. The enemy is getting using your, that reflection. You're using the spirit using of the, the father. Very yes. familiar spirit of that person that have died for you yes. to get you in a comfortable state, comfortable state of mind so that he, he can, can know, make, rob you. Come in for the kill. He can come in for the kill. When you dream see yourself gone back to your childhood days and you're wondering, why may I see myself back in a primary school? Yes. Why am I seeing myself back in, 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 in high school when you're now a grown-ass man or woman living a life and you see yourself gone back? It means the enemy means wants to rob the you. The enemy wants to take your future away from you. But in order for you to, to do that, you have to agree with him. Him gone again, you might find yourself seeing yourself in, uh, in, in, as, as you were a child. And you're wondering, why am I seeing myself back in childhood days? It's backward, backward, backward. The yes. enemy wants to put you back in a state of, of backwardness, stagnation. You're not growing. Yes. So you have to recognize these things, people, and realize to listen to the things that we will learn when we don't grow up and say good things. No, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We have to reject them. Yes. And Probably this is how you hours. pray. One second, I'm going to acknowledge that in a while. One of the things you have to pray when you get your visions and your dreams, the first thing you wake up, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth, Nazareth yes. every Spirit. covenant, yeah. every agreement yes. that was signed, every ungodly agreement that was signed in these dreams and visions, I shut them down. In the, I renounce and I denounce them and I shut them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If 
any of these dreams, Almighty God, and visions were of you, then I release them into your hands for your divine revelation and for it to come to pass at the right time and at the right season in my, in life. my life. Amen. Right? And then you go go again and say, God, if my spirit man sin, because some of my spirit man bad. My one. <laughs> bad like I am. My one. Praise the Lord. When we Praise are asleep, Lord. we spirit man is awake. I go, go look all the hard But we spirit yes, man yes. gone all over the place, can do all yeah. sorts of things. I look poor and all kinds Exactly. Of Lord, and because yes. of that, we spirit man sin. Yes. And so because of that, we have to ask the Lord, we have to repent on yes. behalf of the spirit man. So the next thing is, Father, I if my spirit man had sinned against you in these dreams and visions, I repent and I ask for your forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason why we are happening and these things, people, many of the things that are happening to us, we were forewarned. Satan can't touch pray against them unless we yes. agree. Yes. When the Lord shows these things in vision and dream, because we did not pray against them, they know and they manifest us. themselves yes. in our lives. And that is why we can still know, even though it happened, yes. we can now go to God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anything that is happening in my life right now as a result of dreams and visions that were not shut down. Father God, I sever every connection to these <laughs> happenings right now and I shut them down from operating in, in my life Christ, in the name Christ. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay, we need to make Latte. Is that all Go ahead now, please. Latte? Can you hear me, Sister Smith? Yes, yeah, yeah, go you. ahead. It, it's funny that you mentioned that because a lot of we um we are conditioned to think that way that everything that yes. we dream see our ancestor yes. our dead yes. granny I protect with because yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say something but before I say it um let me let me shut this down first. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, every door I'm about to open right now, Father, I render it in the land void. Father, I cast down, I bind, I dismantle, I rebuke every spirit that I have already shut down, every door, every portal that I have already shut down, I shut it down again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and it shall not, cannot, will not manifest in my life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right. <laughs> it's funny because my grandmother, we didn't have a relationship, and mm -hmm. When I heard my grandmother by my dad's side, when I heard she died, it was like, I felt like a sense of loss, even mm. though we we're not close. And one morning, I, it's funny because I was home and my cousin called me one early morning and she was like, you know, um, well, grandmother dead. So when she, I, right away, I felt like this heaviness mm. in my heart. And I started to cry. And do you know that a couple of days later? Okay, um, Scott, I, yes, Brother Smith. Just a second. You, you, you left a blank space there. I would like to fill it, all right? Okay. All right? So the fact that the heaviness come upon you is called grief. Mm -hmm. That's when the doorway was open. That's when the doorway oh. was open. Amen. And because the doorway was now open, yes. all right, they yes. give the spirit now the authority to oh. communicate with you. Yes. Continue. Amen. Wow. So what happened is now I was I was sitting at my breakfast nook, but I wasn't sleeping. I was like wandering off, like my mind was wandering. Mm. And then now all of a sudden I started I started seeing this vision where me, I was in a restaurant back in Jamaica. Remind you, I live in Florida, mm. right? And I was sitting at this restaurant close to her community and she walked in. Just a and minute. Just a yes. minute. Remember the grief that you felt? It mm -hmm. opened the door and the, the spirit now walks in. Yes. Right. I can, before you even go no further, because first me hear this, but before you even go any further, what happened is, I can bet your grandmother was a mother woman. Oh, I, I don't know, because we were not Listen close. to me. When she passed off, when she passed off, she did not pass off the gift to somebody that was in line to take it up. So the, spirit oh. went searching. so the spirit went searching. So when you feel, because you were the more spiritual one. It was more gifted. Exactly. You are the more gifted one that was gifted. Was when you start to, ah. 
So what the devil tried to do now was to use the familiar spirit of your grandma to get you to, to agree. get you now in agreement to accept the gifting. To accept the mm. gifting. So to what accept- ha- <laughs> wow. Yeah. So what happened now is when she walked in and like she said something to me. She said, hi, it's something to the effect of how you're doing or something like that. And Brother Smith, I kid you not, I felt paralyzed in that dream. And so when I jumped Just a minute, up, just a minute, just a minute. Yes. The reason why you felt paralyzed is because the spirit now of the authority over you. Yes. Because you would have sympathized and you open the door and you now give the spirit the authority yes. over you. But God was still in control. Mm-hmm. But- Go ahead. So what I did, I hear something in my spirit. I hear my spirit man say, get up. Ah, that was God. That was God. Brother Smith, I start. Brother Smith, I had some words in my mouth. And baby, baby called to me, you know. But I had some not so kind words. And I said, you familiar spirit. I said, how dare you? I said, I rebuke you. And I started to carry on. And I started to say, I didn't invite you here. I said, your boy on out of order. What do you you? And when yeah. I after that, no, I no, stick up in, stick up in, shit. stick up in, stick up in. And if done that, yes. we would not be we in this mess. In this mess. And Adam did that, we would we not be in this mess. mess. Yes. I am saying no, this is the same principle that the devil is using today, today yes. in our life. In our life, you say, listen carefully for those of you who have children and grandchildren, you say, from them in a few hours. Listen to me. The rules is very simple. From the people in left your house, you have the art with them of 19, 20, 30, 100. You want it under your roof. Your rules apply. Your rules apply. Mm-hmm. So when Mr. see parents of Pitney and Pitney of uh, in our Pitney, both private, mama, when you are coming to my house, you need to nap before you come in the room. Go find your own room. Go find your own house. <laughs> Don't put the lock on my door. Listen to me. Listen, yeah. if you want your own privacy, go rent my house for yourself. You yeah. let, let me host you with me now. <laughs> both privacy, this down this curb. Listen to me, take out the sign there. And my house, you know. The reason why I said this, because if you don't do that, the same way in tell us a female seminar, they might go invite demons in your house. Exactly. Amen. Continue Amen. Like yes, so, you know, so I had to shut that down. And the moment I shut it down, I, w- I was telling my one of my cousins about it. And she was like, oh, my God. I said, yeah, I had to bring a smith. It was a struggle for me even, even for get up out of, that, out of that. And I wouldn't even say it was a dream because I wasn't sleeping. But it is a vision. It is called a chance. It's a chance. Vision. It's called a chance. Yes. Whenever when somebody, when spirit, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Whenever somebody is spiritually gifted, they can both use the fallen angel and they can use a grave room or they can use Jesus of Nazareth. So the choice is yours. All right. And that is, and that why, is why I always say a Christian were And that is why also as a child of God, yes, you need to submit your members to God. When I say members, your body, soul, and your spirit. Give it to God for him to control it so that no demons and devils can have any authority over your spirit, man. Yes. So you need to give God control over it. But at the same time, even though you give God control over it, you are not robots. Him give us free will. To choose. To choose. Amen. Me married to my wife, you know. Yeah. Hold on. Me married to my wife, you know. Physically and spiritually. But we can still go to things that exactly. go on. Because but I choose not to. Choose not to. His choice. My wife Brother chose Max, not to. Brother Max, your hand Brother Max, go ahead. You wanted to make your point still? Max? Prophet Max? With, yeah, I was going to testify with the same thing that Lata has testified. But yes. In yes. A different, but it's in a different way. Oh, Nobody's our, story is the same, my brother. Go ahead, go ahead. Just give me your um, version. Go ahead. Um, Our sister, Shine. Was yes. going through a, 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 a thing like that the other day. I mean, I tell you, say, God just deliver her in the mighty name of Jesus. My God. That's, that's, that's me. I tell you, say, a big, very, very big breakthrough God make up for her. Is, yes. It really want to happen. And, you know, we, we were so excited. You know, we try to call yes. people. We try to tell them. But trust me, God just make it happen big, something big. And, and it's God. God be all the glory. 
So Amen. why you guys don't see her on the platform? She's a little bit busy. So I just want to share that with you. Collecting yes. her blessing. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. We rejoice today. Praise yes. the Lord. That is why we need family. Yes. That is why we need family. Yes. yes. Where yes. two or three are gathered touching anything, Come that on. is why we need spiritual family. Yes. 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 For real. Wonderful. You know? Wonderful. For real, that's, a that's, why, that's a beautiful yeah, testimony. That's a beautiful testimony. That's why we don't see her today. But she and we be. rejoice with that testimony. Yes. Yeah. 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 Blessed love. You know? that is so, so Max, Max can testify to this. Even though Lion, listen carefully, Lion is the king of the jungle. And the Lion hunting her. Are you female? Are you woman? Yeah. Yeah. Woman. So no, man, the woman. So the lion, the lion protect the horse, man. And the ah, ah, there you go. And the woman do the hunting. The, woman the reason the hunting. why I said this, listen carefully. Even the lion kingdom. That's why Jesus is called the lion of Judah. Yeah. Amen. The reason why I said this is because when Satan came in, Satan understand the power of the woman. Yes. Adam did not understand it. Adam did not appreciate it. And my woman carry life. Oh God, God. And the woman carry you the life. You know exactly what I'm saying. Yes. You know exactly what I'm life. saying. So what happened now? Because so what, what the devil did, you know, did want it to do now was to, 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 to use the womb of Eve. Contaminate. Oh, God Almighty. The human race. Yes. He wanted to contaminate the human and race. And the only way he could have do that is through the woman. And through the womb. So uh, the reason why we point out this is very simple. Woman, you determine what happened in your family. Ah. Listen to me. You determine what happened in your family. Look how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. You see a woman, when she give birth, the birth canal and the birth string, life for calm, attached to the baby. Yes. That is a bond. Yes. That yes. is a bond. When she breastfeed the exactly. child. Exactly. She it's bond with her bond child. With yes. The reason why I'm pointing out this is very simple. You see, when a woman begins to pray on the behalf ah. of her children, mm -hmm. mm, mm -hmm. it's called weeping Mary. Yes. But I weeping Amen. Mary or whatever. It is, yes, man. In the Bible, it's called weeping, weeping Mary. Mary. Yes, man. Weeping Mary. Oh, okay. The reason why I said this is because I want you to understand this. The devil wants you to believe that you cannot pray because Gino Jennings and other people will tell you that you cannot pray because God don't understand your prayer. God don't hear your prayer. But this is a lie from the pit of hell. Why? Because the devil realizes that if women start to pray. No. A lot of them believe that if you don't do this. Now, this is a, this is a perfect example. This is a perfect a example. A woman should cover their head. Yes. That's a lie. Who is my hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you know what it represents when they say woman should cover the head? You know what it represents? Cover the blessing, cover the glory. No, no, no. It don't represent cover your blessing. What it means is that I am now telling my wife to cover her head. Why? Because she cannot go be to God on my behalf. You call me unclean. Oh. Because she's unclean. And she did not make it in the image of God. So why is it that you're making a um, um, co um, connection with God on my behalf? I am the one who's supposed to do that on your behalf to cover you. But listen, but listen what Adam did. Adam said, listen to me. The woman will you give me, me no want. So Adam pushed out the woman. Mm -hmm. All right. So what automatically happened now? God said, listen carefully, what mankind want woman to do is to use religion to cover herself. Mm -hmm. Did you know that when a woman a pray, she's not supposed to cover her head? But you know, oh, no, no, let me finish. Mm -hmm. Did you know that oh, when man. a woman a pray, she's not supposed to cover her head? <laughs> when a woman a pray, she's not supposed to cover her head. Did you know that? I'm going to tell you why. May I all revivalists. Let me tell you why a woman should never cover her head. Let me tell you why. You see, as soon as you start cover your head, you disrespect God. And you now cover yourself with religion. <laughs> and the familiar spirit. If you understand what Paul said. Paul said, cover your head because you can't talk to God, an angel you talk to. So Paul is saying, listen to me, you are demons worshiper. Mm. <laughs> when you are praying, don't cover your ear. Your that, ear is your covering. And that is why a lot of women, if you don't have on your hat, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Let me finish. Let me finish. And that is why you have so much mother woman. Yep. 
That is why you have so much bad woman because they were cultured to cover them head. Yes. And once you cover your head, you're actually accepting to me can't talk to God. Only oh, angel me can't talk to. And no wonder Gabriel star visit you. Because that's amen. The, the father you cover your head. head. And because, amen. <laughs> yes. Because you were brainwashed and you believe it. Listen carefully. You know, you, you listen carefully. The angel no communicate with you because you're brainwashed, you know. They call angel communicate with you because you believe the brainwash. Because you recognize. Well, I know, well, I know, well, I know. Listen carefully. If me tell my wife, say, listen to me, you are no good. You think when me tell her that, that is what happened? And when she start believing believe that she's no it. good. Yes. Yes. That's when the problem starts. And hence, that is why I've been harping on exactly. some of the customs exactly. that we have been practicing. We need to get rid of it. It's so, not biblical. So what I want to point out is, you said you want to turn a Ubia woman, cover up your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can't be more plainer than that. If you're going to wear a hat to church, wear a hat to church because, because of style. Because of style. You wear it because the hat make you look damn good. Exactly. Or you make the hat look damn good. Exactly. But you don't wear it because me have to cover up my head covering. because no. I'm covering. No. Christ your ear. is your covering. Ear. Listen to me. If you're talking about the natural covering, your ear is your covering. Your if you're covering. talking about your spiritual covering, Christ is, is your covering. Are you covering? And that is why we have so much mother woman. And that's why you have Amen. so much mother Brother Smith, I didn't mention that. Sorry to cut you off. Come um, on, this is a, listen to me. This ahead. is a classroom. You see, when you when you start talk, me love it because when you start talk, you force me now to answer some questions. Yes. I wouldn't mind if everybody who in the platform asks questions. Listen to me. This is a platform where you come. Why do we have so much sex demons in the church? Because Satan wants to praise God in the spirit of sex. Read Genesis Amen. chapter 6, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Me love when people ask questions. So nobody tell me, say, you're sorry if we cut in. Because, cut in because if you really do, and ask questions. If you really do the research on how the Satan is worship, sex is Amen. a vital part of their worship. Sexual mm -hmm. orgies are a vital part of their worship. Go ahead, carry on. From the scare, go ahead. Carry I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. Carry on, hand went up. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh. Carry, go ahead. Prophet Latai, I do not, Prophet Latai, I do not forget what you were saying. Yes. Let Carrie. me hear what Carry on is saying. Prophet Carry on, go ahead. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah, speak up, Carry, speak up. Speak in the phone that you can hear. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Greetings, my you sister. Know, as as Latoya had said, sir, I don't know if you saw where I, I called yesterday. I know it was a Saturday, but something was on in my spirit and it was about my grandma. My grandmother, my maternal grandmother died earlier this year. Yeah, in March. And for some reason, I passed her grave, the cemetery, um, yeah. the other day, and it keeps. I wanted to go over there and I turned on the road, but then I made a U-turn. First thing you need to understand, the fact that you wanted to go over there, that is a doorway, your open doorway. Yes. And that is why the spirit was trying to communicate with you. Yes. Since as you are trying to communicate with me, may I communicate with you? Yes. Now. All right? Be careful of the doorways that you open. No, so go I'm, ahead. Asking, I'm asking, sir, is it okay for me to go to visit her? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ma no. The Bible says, said, listen. They, 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 they have no... No, no, no. No, no, no. Let us go back to scripture. Go ahead and answer her. The Bible says, you know, Kerry, the dead has no place among the living. The person is dead. I want to bury that person, you know, supposed to, because when you go visit that grave, what are you going? You're going to go in there to communicate with the person's spirit. Exactly. So if the person is dead, the person is just dead. Okay. No all right. That is a physical. That is a physical it's explanation. Physical dead, yeah. That is a physical explanation. Mm -hmm. Let us give you the spiritual explanation now. Why you should not go to the grave? Listen. Where? Mark first. Mark first. Uh, Mark chapter sixteen, verse six. Verse six. And he, yes. And he okay. said unto them, "What? Be not affrighted. Be not affrighted." What? We seek Jesus of Nazareth. Once you seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, which was crucified, he is risen. dead and buried. He is not risen. He is not here, and he is not in the graveyard. Behold the place where they live. In other words, you should not have anything to do with the dead. 
Yes. Once you start worship Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. So here is the place where you are. Since as you don't believe what me, I said, here is the place. Jesus of Nazareth is not among the dead. Do not go to the graveyard. That's mm -hmm. what it means. That is why we have so much graveyard spirit. Mm -hmm. Mom, if you go, notice what happened. You said you feel the urge to go to the graveyard, but you did not go. You turned back. And the spirit realized now, say, you wanted to come. So the spirit come to you. Because what Be happened? Be careful. Now, well, what happened now? In order, okay, what the devil does in a carry, you have to get you to agree first. Yes. The first thing he did was club the idea inside of you. Yes. The, 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 I said, let me stop. But then something, I was like, I want them for doing the right thing. I had can I ask you a question? That was the Holy Spirit prompting you to say, let me Can I ask you a question? Are your grandmother alone in the grave? In the yeah. graveyard? No, there are others. I know, I know your grandmother alone, you never visit. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, mom. <laughs> I'm just saying, mom. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. I just want you to take that for food for thought, all right? You know, it is so because ironic. Because what happened now? So they, 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 they do not know of a new master. Yes, and it is so <laughs> ironic that, you know, you should mention that because I remember I went to a funeral. Yes. And the funny thing about it is that that particular funeral, I did not want to go to the gravesite. Yes. I just wanted to be at the church and paid my respect on Guam Yard. But however, somebody wanted a ride and the person said, come just let us go and i said all right fine i went it was i didn't my spirit did not feel led to go but because i wanted to please the person yes i chose and i went and would you believe me that i went to the grave where the person was being buried i understand i smell this funky smell but i said wait they want to miss it. They never buried the other person properly because they were burying that person on top of somebody else and i was question, like hold question, on, hold hold on. On, hold on. question. Why did you smell that funky scent? Because the spirit was right there. No, the spirit realized that you are spiritually gifted and they needed a master. Ah, anyway. The I tell you that this platform is still for teaching now. Yeah, so the that's what happened. So I they saw... realized that you're spiritually gifted and said, okay, so I'm master there. Yes. And everyone come to you. So I smell the funky scent. I was yes. like, wait, the other one I smell. But anyway, they buried the person and we went on our merry way and I came home. And in the night, when I went to my bed, I actually dream and I saw the man standing up smiling. So at what me. the what the spirit does now? He acknowledges the master and the master left him at the graveyard. Master, where are you? And he comes searching the master and no, the, the, the funny bedroom. thing about it, that spirit that came, yes. apparently the person was a womanizer. You know, you hear what me say. You still know you hear what me say. What I want to point out is that spirit no spirit. Oh. So the physical body, the physical body of you. Remember, God said, I create you in a spiritual body. Mm -hmm. So the spiritual body make the link. So when they said, look, look, they want to clean, they want to clean. Make we go another one, we could go. And it couldn't come in there because you are now the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So what it want to do now? Listen to me. The reason why I said this is because did you know that everybody you pray over? Everybody you pray over, them get deliverance, but the spirit with them did that struggle with now attacking you. Because listen carefully, if you pray for the person, the person, the demon say, okay, since as you run me out of, out of prophet the psalm, see me, me are coming at you, you know. Because when you run with demons, they more have it. Remember, you know, you run him out of your house, you might want another house. And I saw a lot of people, when you pray for people, the demons come at you. And that is why I tell people, if you're not in the particular place right now, do not pray over somebody. Prophet the Slater, go ahead. Unless the Lord give you the authority to do it yes. because the Lord can give you the authority to pray for somebody and it means he protects you. That's totally but different. But when you're going to take upon yourself to go do it, that's a different story. Yes. You understand? All right. Um, Lattaya, Lattaya Lattaya first. Lattaya. First. But yes. it's yes. funny that, that Sister Kerry mentioned that, right? Kerry or Kerry and mentioned that because um, I have this thing where I've seen it happening time and time again, right? In my family, more so my mother's family, yes. um, we have a family plot, right? A country. And, you know, cousin they bury their grandparents bury there and so on. But every time somebody in my family, <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, is going to die, I dream see that how I dream see the yard, a country. I'm gonna butt in right here. All right. Yes. What happened is because you are the one praying on the behalf of the family, 
whenever the, the dead angel visit the family lineage, which is lineage. the lineage or the lineage, mm -hmm. they, they can't just enter so because you're praying on the behalf of the family. And that is why I encourage people, mothers, to pray on the behalf of their family. Yeah. So when, if, when if your son or your daughter is being attacked, the demons have to come to you first oh, and say, listen to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The demons have to come to you first and say, listen to me. I am coming after your son or your daughters. Yes. And so mm. if you don't pray against that spirit now, and again, because they might come untimely you now. Yes. Because your right. is supposed to be there when you right. gone. So if you keep quiet, you agree. Yes. And so that shut it down. Yes. yes. So the reason why I bought in a while ago is because every time a death, a death angel visit the family, God show you so that yes. God wants you to pray against, against the spirit it. of untimely death. Brother Smith, I felt I'm gonna tell you, I dreamt this that I was that I in my dream. I yeah. wanted to go down there to go pray over the land. And I even see me at one point down there, like I was painting the grave and I had to, I had to pray against it. I was like, Father, what is? And I noticed so, the pattern. Stick up in, stick up in. The yes. praying, the, the cover you're covering the grave, it means that you're in agreement. Let the death angel take it. So what you're actually saying now, listen to me. Your spiritual you man stepping in now and said, listen to me. I come against that. Because the what the devil wants you to do when you're paying some I see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So what the devil what the devil wants you to do is to be in agreement and the, the spirit of God chipping you know, say, listen to me, pray against that, and you start praying against it. So that is why you find that the devil is not is against you. All right. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. Mighty God of Daniel, Jesus of On this platform, on this platform, we bring clarity. If you have something, listen to me. You listen if you don't want to talk on the platform, you can call me. And we talk directly, all right? All right. Secretary, hold on, hold on. Let I, are you finished? You finished at all? No, no, okay, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, so, and but, hold so on, hold I, on, hold on, hold on. Prophetess Kerian, we acknowledge you, but the prophet said, let me finish in first, all right? So just go and hold that thought. Go ahead, Prophetess. Um, yes, and I, I, I said it to one of my aunts. I said to her, yes. something is wrong. I said, this land, I said, some, because what happened was they were building, they were um remodeling the house that my, my, my aunts, them and everybody grew up on. They were fixing the house. And so stop I, right there, stop right there. Yes. We come to bring clarity, so stop right there. The yes. what happened now is that your aunt is in agreement with the dev yard. In other words, the, the aunt now did not get the authority to pray on the family lineage. It's you. So your aunt is saying, okay, you can fill up the dead yard. And you're saying, no, you can't take no more of our family. No, 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 no. You misunderstood what I was saying. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen carefully. Hold listen carefully. Listen, hold, listen. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Listen carefully, Prophetess Lataya. Mm -hmm. What I want to point out is, God did not give the, 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 the authority to your aunt to pray for the family. Okay. He gives you the authority to pray on the behalf of the family. Right. That's what I want to point out. Now I want you to hear the part where she said, the part where she said about the aunt, I wanted to hear it. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, Michelle. Hold okay. on, Natalia. What okay. I want to bring across, in every family, listen carefully, yes. in every family, an individual is appointed to pray on the behalf of the family. Amen. All right? So in this case, in this case, listen carefully. In this case, the devil will try to manipulate your authority by mm. putting somebody else in charge when they are not supposed to be in charge. All right. So I want you to understand, listen carefully. The reason why I said this to you, Lataya, we're not talking about your auntie now, you know. We're talking about your spiritual gift. Right. And your spiritual gift, we are defending now, you know. Yes. So the reason why I said this to you is because any shadow of a doubt, and that's what we are trying to assassinate right now. Right. Because the devil wants to have you in a field of doubt. Because mm. if I can doubt you, the prophet was supposed to pray on the behalf of a woman, make can come in, come destroy. You can now talk. No, she didn't doubt me. What happened is... Tell you, you still don't get it, not all 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 Go ahead. Let me hear it. Let me I called my aunt and I was telling her and she agreed with me that something is wrong. She said... Lataya, listen to me carefully. Yes. There is two... Listen to me. There is two body. Yes. There is a the spiritual body. And, spiritual. Yes. and there is a physical body. Yes. 
All right. First thing you need to understand, the physical body is not in agreement with it. Mm. Okay. Amen. But the spiritual body can be in agreement with it. Because yeah. would it be that the auntie no fully surrender? No, the auntie well, no, well, no, well, she realizes You're you still not understand spirituality though. Hold on, let, let me explain. Let me see if I understand. Latoya, you are saying that when you got the dream, right? Yes. You told your aunt the dream physically. Yes. Yes. And the auntie sent to Wasn't you. Wasn't in agreement. She's with saying it. that, yes, something. She really should agree with Latoya. Say something is wrong with, 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 with the family lineage. That's what yes. she's saying. That's yes, what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm saying. And that is the physical side. Yes. Listen what I'm saying. Listen carefully. People of God, what I want you to understand is that the physical man can be saying one thing and the spiritual man can be saying another. Hmm. You know, understand what I'm saying? The physical man, in other words, God, I want to serve you and I don't want to. And then all of a sudden, miss out something else. Mm -hmm. So what I want to bring across, this is not about Latoya you know, and, and her auntie. You know. This is about the prophet called Latoya, the ear now, not our auntie. So we are dealing with who is an ear now. But what I want to bring across is very simple. If Latoya have any form of shadow of a doubt, our family wipe out. Right. So hold on. So in essence, what she was basically saying, when she got the dream, she told her aunt and yes. her aunt agreed with her. In the, the physical in world, the, physical, the aunt the... agreed with her. Yes. But listen what she said in the spiritual realm. It was the aunt who was the one who was supposed to be the one, the caretaker of the dead yard. You come like an understand that's what, what said, Latoya? Of course, that's what she said. Latoya? I, to be honest with you, I don't, I am having, that's why I asked, because I'm having an issue who, understanding it. Question, who made the graveyard? Who, 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 who decided that, that, that this would be a family plant? Um, I don't know. Ah, me don't talk. All right. So, it wasn't you. Don't it wasn't you. All right. No. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't it wasn't you. No. Okay. All right. Listen, so listen, hold on. Listen, so listen, hold on. Listen, hold, on listen. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You said, um, who is renovating the house? Everybody. Okay. The all the all the aunties, them and uncles, everybody and everybody chipping in. Everybody are in. Everybody, everybody agree to renovate the house. Let yes. us let us stop right here, sir. When you talk about house, it is talking about two things. It is talking about the body of Christ. Or it's just talking about the grave. Now, when you said you re re um, um, refurnish the house, are you re what you're actually doing? You, you, in other words, me re um, something re establish my relationship with Christ, or me make a new covenant with the devil. All right. Now, in this case, it was the graveyard. Don't tell the graveyard. It was focused on. The, it was focused on the, the, the land, which the has the plan. graveyard. The land. The exactly. land. The land. Exactly. You see what I mean? Right. So what happened now is that that is why I am saying the contract was outdated. Mm. And the anti now, the demons come and I say, listen to me, you need to continue the, 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 the something there. Practices. With it. All right. Mm. Exactly. No, not get to me. I say. Mm. Right. So what happened now? The old contract would have broken. Oh, and the you get to me. I say now. And the old end. contract stopped with the anti. The and then the covenant will start with Latoya. Oh, come like okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we don't get, get it. All right, fine. We'll the get covenant it. was made. Let me relax now. And, God, that I wanted to and it, and it stopped at the aunts and the uncles and everybody. Yes. So and it will have to continue to in a new generation, new generation now, now with Latoya. And oh, I'm okay. telling Latoya, do not make it continue. You get what I say now? Yes, and I told, and I okay. said, in the dream, Brother Smith, I yeah. kept wanting to go down there and pray, to pray. And I said to my auntie, something uh, What you're actually telling, plan. listen carefully, what you're actually telling the auntie now, I will not continue with the traditional. The tradition. Mm. Ah. Yes. I'm going to break it. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. Mm. Because I can bet you have been praying against generational curses. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I have. Talk. Yes. Me don't talk. She don't want to get to me, I say. Yes. What I want to, listen carefully. Uh, you see, the reason why we have this classroom, I want people to understand. I know anybody can come in at the class, I know. Mm. You, you understand me? Anybody will come in the class and sleep. You, a lot of people will come in up. But as, as it get to a certain point, they will leave because they are, not, they are not at that level as yet. Mm -hmm. All right? So many will come and they will go because they are not at that level as yet. But anybody where you see stay upon the platform with me are people who in the realm of the spirit that level. All right? Yes. And so what happened now, our special people, that is why it is called the few chosen platform. Yeah. 
Uh, and everybody can come on the supply family. Now. So what I want to bring across is that the old contract would have ended with your family members, which is your auntie. And he said, okay, we want to continue now. We want and, to renew the Yes. Contract. Because mm. that expired, that exactly expired. Expired. expired, and because you have been praying against generational curse, yes. that's why it expired. It so the devil now said, Okay, make we use one of our agent, our agent, which is our auntie, and come now to soften up the yes. family yes. spirit yes. to soften it up. So that is why I keep on saying, Do not let down your guard. Yes, because you get what I'm saying now. Okay, what happened? Back. You know, you should have to agree because if you let down your guard, you are going to be in agreement, and then don't you have a beautiful baby girl? Yes, the devil is a liar. God, that girl, we're going to declare it right now. Please, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, repeat after me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every generational curse, stop with Every me. Generational curse, repeat stop with me. Stop, stop with me. me. It will stop not pass me. down to my children. It will not pass down to my I children. I break every curse ancestral spirit right every, now. I break, uh, Brother Smith, you're going out. I break every ancestral spirit right now. I break every ancestral spirit right now. And every curse right now. And every curse right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No one understand what I'm saying. All right. Okay. okay. You can talk you can. Now. Sister Carrie. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you continue. Make sure you finish first. Yeah, I finish your point, Natalia. Yes, um, can, I'm going to say something real quick. I don't want to take up time because I want Sister Carrie to um to share her point too. Um, what well, um Brother Smith, I remember right. This was when I was pregnant with my firstborn, and the yard that we move into, I there yes. was something wrong with the yard, both spiritually and physically. And my baby's father at the time, he had a friend who they fell out. And the guy died and he told me he was going to the, the yard, you know, the dead yard. And mm -hmm. I told him not to go. Mm -hmm. And I remember I told him, I said to him when he was leaving, well, y'all go make sure say you want him to come back. That's exactly <laughs> what I said to him. Cause me said, me didn't know where you go. When you have wait, make sure say you want him to come back. Right. And he kind of shut me off and he went, Brother Smith, you know, I said, I run at two, three o'clock, my ear the car come in because the, the yard was a big yard. Yes. My ear the car come in. And me, me never, yeah, me never think me was asleep. Me didn't know what me did I do, but my cousin was so long ago, but me jump up. And me say, you want him now come in here? You want him now come in here? I say, you sit there with him. And Brother Smith, I hear some, by the time him drive up the car, like, in you know, a little driveway, he up mm -hmm. in the yard, and some big stone starts flinging around the house, Brother Smith. I kid you not. Why and big stone? Why big, big stone? stone? No, I'm going to ask you a question. Why big stone? I mean, not know. All right, let me explain. Jesus of Nazareth is called the rock. Oh, Jesus, so the there. devil starts to own your house with the religious spirit, the religious demon. Shut up! Why you have to tell me, say, me not come in your house? <laughs> me don't talk. How dare you? Know, How dare you? Because what happened is, when you say you not come in here, you was actually speaking to the spirit. Yes. How dare you not to Oh, that. my God. And the spirit would have acknowledged you in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Said, listen to me, no come in yeah. my yard. And so he starts to own you. Because in because at that time you yes. weren't covered. You weren't covered. You weren't fully you surrendered. Weren't fully surrendered. No, so what happened now? Me never baptized, you know. So the devil was actually telling you now, how dare you fear how try to stop you me? Are you not fully surrender? Are you not fully surrender? Mighty God of Daniel, and I he always could have killed you, at all. That's I why I'm just going to kill you. He could have killed you. My that God, is why that it, is why it is so important as believers yes. to stay under the blood coverage of Almighty God. And, and that is why do not run with your salvation. And that is why Jesus Christ of Nazareth said, Satan can't cast out Satan. So what the devil was actually saying, Lataya, how you dear oh, to tell me to come, come in here. Me Are you not surrender to Christ? Are you not surrender to Christ? How dare you? That's why I'm still asking you. You're yes. too much. How dare you? You're yes. yes. too much. You can't come with my friend. That's then why he was doing it. Yeah. Exactly. My so you understand God. clearly now, woman of God? Yes, I'm never when I was telling you, when I was telling you, listen carefully, when I was telling you um, that the enemy was trying to pass off the, and give you a knockoff, 
That's what he was trying to do. He wanted to cut. It was because of the fact that you're praying against the spirit of generational curse. And you decide to say, no, and it don't to me. That's why he had a problem. So he might have said, okay, not I refuse it, you know, because normally if you weren't praying against it, it would have the transition would have just yes, taken place. Yes. But you're saying you now accept it. So what you're going to know is carry your auntie now and say, listen to me. See that your auntie was a part of the clan. So you can be a part. No, we don't want to be a part and of I, the and clan. And I would believe it would have been the same thing with Carrie. Exactly. As well. Prophetess oh, Carrie, go God. ahead. Exactly. Go that ahead. Was the same thing anyone so we bring Karen. clarity on the platform. All right? We bring clarity on the Karen, platform. Can go, go ahead, Prophetess Carrion. I just had a question based on what she Prophet said. Prophetess you need to talk up another mic. Louder, sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. I I just have a question in terms of what Sister Smith had said in terms of the smelling of that. That has never happened to me before. It's but called a foul spirit. Okay. Um, the, question, the question that I have is when you go to a funeral again, or me in future, because I really don't like these things, but of late I find myself going and mm -hmm. I have that experience. What would I do or what should I do? Let us rebuke the spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I can even cover myself before that no spirit will. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And that is why it's so As important. A matter of fact, yeah. every morning. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. You drive, don't. Yes, sir. And the first time you turn on the engine, what do you do next? Is put the vehicle in. Put on what? You're not hearing you. Put on what? It put the vehicle in drive. No, 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 no. When you turn on the engine, what do you do first? All right, before you turn on the engine, what, break. no, 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 no. Listen when, you're going car, when you're going to the car, the what is the first thing, thing you do? Put on. Turn on the engine. No, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh. She says she turn on the engine Close first. The door. <laughs> okay, put on yeah. your seatbelt. Put on your seatbelt. <laughs> ah, there you got it. Your seatbelts. Okay. You put on your seatbelt. You put on your coverage. Your protection. So we are saying, when you get up in the morning, you put on the Jesus of Nazareth. You, do, you put on your blood coverage, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ephesians 6. Put on your oh. armor. That's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning. You put on your total armor of protection, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The name Ephesians of Ephesians 6. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your is your um Ephesians 6 says a beautiful first thing about. people need to understand. People a lot of people don't know what is the, what is um Ephesians your armor. 6. You put on the helmet of salvation. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. A lot of people don't understand what is armor. All right, let us go back to the Bible. You remember when Saul, when David went to Saul? Yes. You know what is Saul want to give David his Speaking armor? armor, yes. And David said, no. No, it was My armor is, you know what David did? He went to the, to the, the, river. the river. Yes. The river represents the waters of life, mm -hmm. where we talk in the revelation, yes. which is Jesus. Christ and he God, take yes. up five stone. Yes. That is his armor, you know. J-E-S-U-S. My God. Mm -hmm. So when they said, I let a pastor preach, Put on the armor, and then I know say the armor is the name of Jesus because Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth. Because, so that's why I want to because point if out you that. Look at what each of, in Ephesians six yes. when it tells what each of it is. Everything is represented right there by Jesus, Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And then he went on to say, when you put on everything, you will make sure say so you girt yourself with the word ah, of salvation, salvation, which is the word of God. So everything said and done. You got my lungs. Is yes. Through. Your sword, the sword is, is the word. In the word. And the sword, yes. which is the word. Yes. Me know the word. Yes. So you get up every morning and you put on yes. that armor. The name of that Jesus coverage. Christ. That coverage. So that's why you pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, so if, when you go to the graveyard and anything, then you're comprehensive recovery. Because there's the opposite. Say anything today. My physicians wish you well. Yes. And one it merry way, it can't confirm for itself. Because the you reason have already, why yes, that yourself. spirit was able to follow come back and come on my yard because at that time you I did not know, know about warfare. the name of yes. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I didn't know. So I was using Jesus and Jesus Christ. And, and the demons was called Jesus and yes, Jesus Christ. And That's why he took the invitation. To to follow me, come that on was here. my next question. Ah, ah. <laughs> I saw you know I when God is in contact. 
I wasn't using All right. it. And that is why I tell people, as a farmer sorcerer, as a farmer Obia man, listen to me, witchcraft, where we call Obia, is done in the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. You No Obia man can it's say, a religious spirit. It's a religious spirit. A religious no Obia man can use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right? And that is why we have to be careful because, and I keep harping on, the religious practices that we do, these spirits identify with those practices. So if you do it, you know, things that are going to come show up. Exactly. Because I identify with it. Exactly. Go ahead, Prophet Slatoyo. Brother Smith, um, I have one more thing to say. I remember yes, we're closing, when we're closing in the next Let 10 minutes. Sure. No, 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 leave for Mexico. Amen. But we are closing Amen. in the next yeah. 10 minutes, all right? Amen. Um, I remember when I was about six years old and there's this man who used to sell ice cream in the community, mm. right? Yes. And I remember when he died and I didn't want to go to the funeral, but my mother made me go to the funeral. Mm. And Brother Smith, when I was there, I started feeling sick. Um, a couple of days after that, Brother Smith, I wind up in the hospital and mm. I started to like cough in blood. My God. Yeah, I started, and they said that I, I had ulcer, but something didn't, it, when I was there at the funeral, Brother Smith, because I went to the burial ground and everything, I didn't feel good. Even though I was like six years old, and Brother Smith, mm -hmm. I could tell that something was wrong. And I oh, did not tell you. And you said you was how much at the time? Six years old. Six. Did you know that Eve was six years old when the devil tampered her? Oh, Jesus. She was, remember, you know, God made the earth in six days when he made Eve in the six days old. So she was technically six days old. The devil liked them young. Child molester, pedophile spirit. Lord Almighty, where is it? Yeah, I wind up, I, I wind up in the, I wind up in the hospital, and they said that I had ulcer, but I, I did smell a rotten flesh, and I cannot for the life uh, of me. You know, know why? You know why? That. Did you know why? No, because even though from listen, 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 no, no, uh, she was, yes, she was, was gifted, gifted at the age of six, she but that's not the reason, but that, that's not what the reason, uh, didn't the man used to feed on ice cream? Yes. Would it be possible that, that, that the graveyard, would it be that at the graveyard he was actually feeding you? Lord oh. of mercy. Yes, because the spirit would have still been doing the same don't talk. thing. Don't talk. Don't talk. Listen to me. Life. Listen to me. Me work, work with me work with spirit. Me work with spirit for twenty two years. So me know what me I say. Anytime nobody dead, I where them I you see where they used to do. You see where they used to do in a, before them dead. I the same thing them I do. Yes. So all of the preconceived but um, my behavior that they yes. usually have and that is why that spirit would have followed me home yes. because it was a womanizer yes. and it see me and it's like they want to introduce itself to me and because your mother forced you to go to the dead yard yes. the man would have feed you in the realm of the and you know the funny and thing that is why it. you have that poster smell and you know the funny right? thing about evening no, night hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Now, the reason about this now is so if, if um so you see if you weren't praying against that now, Prophet Slataya. Yes, Brother Smith. This is what you should be praying against right now. I come against the spirit of cancer. I come against the spirit of cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every cancer is cell. Every cancer is cell. That may be in my body. <laughs> That may be in my body. I rebuke it right now in the name I of Jesus Christ. Right now, a lot of folks have cancer, you know. A lot of folks have cancer Nazareth. because demons are feed with. Yeah. Or have sex with. Mm -hmm. All right? So with all that said and done, we have the next five minutes. So anybody because, who wants because any more James, questions? James says that eating in a dream, yes. that is the spirit of infirmity the enemy wants to unleash upon you. Infirmity is sickness. Yes. So when so you see yourself eating in a dream, whether you feeding yourself or, or somebody, somebody feeding. feeding you, that is the spirit of infirmity. So the devil use two things to make the covenant. A two things the devil make for using. If you use sex, and then you would fold What about suitcase, Money. brother? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Money as well. What, what that? about suitcase? I saw an old an ex friend of mine dragging yes. a suitcase on the street. So you should be praying suitcase. against the street of untimely death. The person ready to leave. Oh my goodness. Pray against the street of untimely death, ma'am. 
So Amen. God is showing you. Listen to me. A lot of us get vision and dreaming you know, and we got to tell you. We say, pray. Understand. Yes. I would think that there's something. So when you see the person and pack up, you're going now, they might plan to leave this life. The, the fact that the Lord show you, it yeah. means that it is premature. It's premature. So the Lord yeah. asks you now to pray and to be a person. You see where you might be in a dream. Yes. You see a dream that they're over somebody in you know, your dream that is agreement i'm telling him goodbye yeah i'm telling her because goodbye. you yes. are no agreeing with the enemy to Pretty say okay Pretty it's car. all right yes. you yes. can do whatever you want to do with me pray against the spirit of untimely so death that is why we and we have funny pay attention to your visions and dreams shut them down because you're not sure which source it come from Amen. Lock it down shut it down but make sure that at the same time you will also release him to the lord's hand because if he's coming from him you also need to release him to operate in your life yes all, all right, right. so on this platform listen carefully on this platform we do not water down anything all right and we do not compromise anything and so whenever you have a question, if you have a question during the week and you want it to be answered, please do write down your question and we talk. All right. On this platform, we um, bring out the leaders inside of you. Okay. All right. So. We are not going to deal with your demons because demons are territorial. So what we do, we equip you we so that you, you can now equip, um, to for you to fight with your own demons. All right. God bless you. So God you keep you. Backup, just come back and call on the family. If you need backup, you come to the family. The Amen. Family will back For those of you that are on the platform that do not have my number as yet, my number is 337. Three, 876. Voila, no, no, no. Relax. 876. No, no, 876 is not my number. 876. That is the era code. Era code again, yes. No, no, no. Seven. They're supposed to know that. No. Okay. No. 876-337-6685. My number is 337-6685. She gave you the era code a while ago. <laughs> because in, because the call can't go through without it without the era code. I understand. And I didn't say said anything wrong. Numbers. I said my number is the era code. Yeah, but you have to no, be, you need to no, no. that's part of it, that's part of it now. No, we need to pay a special. No, this is a platform where we will pay attention to everything. Yes. My number is not 876. My number is 3376685. The era code is 876. The reason why I listen to me, I deliberately did this, all right? Not to be mischievous, but I want you to pray at special attention to the, 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 the ways that the devil operate. He's very cunning. Extremely cunning. That's why I did that a while ago. It wasn't never to provoke my wife, but I want you to understand. Pay special attention to what the devil is saying. Yeah. So when you said, when you said, A, hey, that's why the Bible said, make your name be nay. Mm -hmm. So when you say, yes, yeah, so, sir. You know about that change. And I met nobody for us if you right. know what Amen. So it's now one o'clock and we, we need to, we need to go now. I Before we go, Prophetess Lataya, Prophetess Lataya, your hand is up again. Does it yes, mean no that you want me. to No, brother Smith, I'm from okay. earlier. Okay. Okay. okay, make glad your hand up, you know, because we're going to ask you to close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go ahead, Lataya. Go ahead. Okay, you ready Amen. for me? So to on this platform, just a minute, just a minute. On this platform, we teach people to, to pray, to defend themselves. And so we teach people to do, amen, spiritual warfare. Any question you have, please to call me, 337 6685. All right? You want to give your number? No, no. My, my, my wife. No. My wife is actually always busy. I work, amen. I yeah, work. she's always busy. But I am always available. So 337 6685. All right? Um, Anita Samuel, welcome. Okay. If, if there's anything, and that, thank if, you for being if there's here. any situation that yes. you want to refer to me, yes. then when I come home in the evening, then yes. I will be able be to do it. But okay. I wouldn't want to do it during the course of the day. No, because, you can't. You can't. You know, when you're when you're by Caesar, yes. you're you have to get Caesar in time. time, right? So with all that said and done, Prophet Slataya, you can now go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. closing yeah. prayer, ma'am. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, as we come before you, Father, your word declares wherever one or two or three are gathered, touching anything concerning you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You said you are in the midst of bless. So, Father. Hides himself under certain things to do what is Let's Let's Yeah, go ahead, Let's Go ahead. Sorry about that. 
That's okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, as we come before you, your word declares, Father, wherever torture gathered, touching anything concerning you, Father. Father, you're in the midst of bless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, as we come before you yet another Sunday, Father, in your presence, Father, we come before you most humble. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ um, of Nazareth and um, repentance um, ground. Yeah, Father, as we come before you, we lift your name on high. We give you the glory and the honor that you deserve, Father. Father, for you are worthy to be praised. There is none like you. Father, we thank you, Father, that you, mighty God, you sit high and you look low. Father, your word declares whatever we ask, it shall be done in your name. Father, we come against every spirit of untimely death right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we come against every fall of the air right now, Father, and then we come against everything that is assigned in the against name of Jesus of Christ of Nazareth. Yes, in Lord. the mighty name of Jesus Christ yes, of Nazareth. Lord. Father, we thank you for healing in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you for restoration, Father. Your yes, word is that salvation is free. Father, you said, mighty God, you are love. You love us more than the lily that grows by the way, yes, mighty Lord. God. Mighty God, some of us plant our seeds, mighty God, on solid rock. Father, yes, you Lord. said, mighty God, the fall of the air shall not, mighty God, because we're touched not. Father, your word declares, touch not my anointing, nor do my promise. In the name no, of Father. Jesus Christ In of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus yes, Christ Lord. of Nazareth. Father, yes, I come against everything that is unholy right now. Father, yes, the gates of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, your word declares that the sun will not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. Father, we come against every hour right now, Father, from the pits of hell. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every demon that has came alongside with curses, Father, we send those demons back to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. Christ of Nazareth, right now in heavenly places, right now, Father. Father, they separate the two realm one from another, Father. Father, right now, I arrest every demons, every principality, right now, every strong man, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I arrest them right now in the second heavens, Father. Father, where demons and principality reside, Father, I bound them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Victory in our lives in the mighty yes, name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. We thank you for peace. We thank you for joy. Mm -hmm. we Hallelujah. Thank you for Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel the river is preaching. Yes, Lord. Amen. The river is preaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. We are committed against you, Father. Father, we repent, Father. We ask for forgiveness. Yes, Lord. We ask for forgiveness of our generation, Father. Father, yes, I like this month, like cast down every generational curses, every yes, ancestral and every bloodline curses, Father. We are right in the name of right Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. Of Nazareth. And we send them back to the pits of hell. We place them on the that's why they belong, Father. Yes, God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, protect our home. Father, yes, we, God. we arm ourselves right now with the old armor of God. Father, you said you have given us the keys to the kingdom. Yes, Father, God. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, wherever we have gone wrong, Father, Father, we repent. Father, yes, we pray, God. mighty God, that we will reap the good of the land, Father. Father, every yes, thorn, God. Father, every thorn that had planted itself, Father, in our Father, yes, in the mighty Lord. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, among our seeds, mighty God, among our good seeds, Father, root them up right now, Father. Father, you said, mighty God, that we have you, Father. 
Father, you because yes. it's because you first loved us, mighty God. You said yes, you God. knew us. You have created us. You have blessed us with all spiritual things. Father, before you have created us in our mother's womb. Father, right now I pray for each and every one. Father, I pray for the woman's womb, Father. Father, I pray for every children, Father. I pray for every family member, Father. Father, you said, mighty God, whatever we ask, it shall be done in your name. So, Father, we come yes, as we God. come against every spirit of rejection right now. Mighty God, yes, as we yes, come Lord. against every... What are you doing? As we come against every spirit of fear, Father. Father, as we come against every of destruction. spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth, yes, I send yes, you Lord. back to the people of hell. We evict you from this earthly realm in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. And we send you back Amen. to the people of hell where you were. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the yes, name Lord. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you for this day, mighty God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we will rejoice and be glad in you. Father, we come against yes, every God. fake prophecy right now, Father. Father, protect yes, our spirit, man, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ yes, of Nazareth. Jesus. Father, continue yes, to Lord. shine your light in our life, Father. Wherever there's darkness, Father, expose the darkness, Father. Wherever there's hidden darkness, Father, expose it right now with your light, Father. In, in the, the mighty name of, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, of Nazareth. Father, I seal this prayer Hallelujah. right now in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Hallelujah. Nazareth, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I mm. come against every retaliation right now from the pit of hell against this prayer right now, Father, mm. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, God. Welcome your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Christ of Nazareth, ah, in the God mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty in the name, mighty of, Jesus name of, Jesus of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> oh, in the Lord, mighty God, name mighty. of Jesus mm. Christ of Nazareth. Father, we bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Listen, listen carefully. Hallelujah. Listen carefully. Hallelujah. Listen carefully. That are you. Yes, brother. I saw me know say you're a real prophet. You, know? you understand what is going on. You, you know what is me never say you're perfect. Me say you is a real prophet. Because nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect neither. But you does not mean say you're not a real prophet. Amen. But what I want to point out is while she was praying, somebody stepped into the room to distract her. Mm -hmm. And because she refused to be distracted, the enemy started attacking her. The, the internet started the act up. Act up, yes. You don't understand the devil mm -hmm. because the internet, listen to me, the, when the individual up came into the, the, the room, it was to distract her mm -hmm. and she was a little bit distracted. Mm -hmm. And I said, I come against the spirit of destruction and now you know, realize what was going on. And she stopped praying and started calling the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And the internet went down, you know. And when she started calling the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the internet come up. And then through the internet, go down. Mm -hmm. God Almighty. And then when we start praying in the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the internet come back up. Listen to me. People do I not felt, be distracted. I felt the shift, Brother Smith. I felt the rain right. change. My daughter walked in the room and she, I'm walking in the kitchen and she All was right. talking and I felt the distraction and All then right. I felt the rim change, the rim change while I was praying. That's why I kept on calling on the Amen. name of Jesus because Christ Because you have to change back the rim now. You have to change back the rim because the distraction spirit was to have you not to finish your prayer because 
if I have you not to finish your prayer, then the contract would have re remained. And it, Amen. It, 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 it happens sometimes when you're praying. Yes. And you know, to see you're praying, like your prayer, your mind wander after. Yes. Yes. You're praying, and, that and is, all of a sudden you're starting about something else. Yes, and that or is if you fall, you are praying, and your doors are coming, you wake up and say, But when I pray, yes, and that is why it's so important that we pay special attention, attention. to our surroundings. Yes. All right, anyway, Amen. God bless you, so everyone. Wonderful. Uh, you know, we just saw yeah. prophetess, um, Charmaine yeah. Reed. Yes, yes, she's here online, and we just want to welcome you, woman of yes. God. Amen. Amen. Prophet Charmaine Reed, we welcome you. Amen. The Bible says, listen to me. We used to sing a song, although I'm late, I'm on my <laughs> Amen. So even though you're a little bit late, amen, you came in. Yes. And, and we, you get the best part are, of the service. We appreciate And you. the best part of the service she get, because when Latoya start preaching, she come in. She get the best part of the service. Can you imagine? That's when they a long time at time, she get the best part of the service. Well, Woman of God, I salute you. <laughs> love, you. love you. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Amen. Prophetess Kerian, we, we acknowledge you and we, we appreciate you. Amen. Thank you for being here. Kerian Campbell, Kerian. Okay, I have two Kerian we have. I decided to want this to know. Amen. Silent <laughs> night. Then we have Sister Amen. Beverly. Yes, Beverly. Then we have Praise the Lord. Sister Anita Samuel. Amen. Sister Johnson. Yes. Brother Max. Yes. Laverne. And of course, our good, 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 good Latoya. And, and Anita. <laughs> and, and Anita <laughs> Samuel. Praise, Praise, the, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. And the Lion of Judah. <laughs> yeah, give, give them a roar. Lion Bob, Amen. The Lion of Judah, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The feeling of the spirit, Amen. Praise the Lord and to Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cover everyone on the platform right now, Hallelujah, and we declare. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That we are the head. This is what I want you to repeat after me. All of you on the platform, whether you want to open your mic, yes or no, this is what I want you to repeat after me. Satan, Satan. 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 this is my home. This is this my is home. home. And in the UPA billionaire. So in the name of Jesus my Christ God. of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over I you right now. Authority authority over you right and now. I rebuke you from my and home. And send you back to the pit of hell. A God run things. A God run things in here. Almighty God run things in this house. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Christ, Christ, of Christ, Christ of That's how you take care of your home and take control. So what you're going to do now is very simple. Almighty God. Almighty God. I pray over my children right now. I pray over my children right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And every spirit. And every spirit. That was assigned to them. That was assigned to them. As their mother, as their as mother, their mother, as their father, as their father, I take authority over them right I now. Take authority and I rebuke them, them from the life of and my child and the life, life of my children. And the life of my children. And the life of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you pray like this, you're actually telling Satan, listen to me. Despite the fact that my children are older right now, I am still their mother. And yeah. so because of me, go push. Amen. Uh, and the, I am still your father. And I uh, listen to me. I didn't raise them up for you. Come kill them. You know? mm -hmm. So if you're going to come after them, come to me. Because I am not going to give you permission. The reason Please why you're doing it is because some of the time, the people, they're not praying. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, some other times the people not pray, and that is why you get involved. And say, listen to me. And the, you think I hear umbilical card the depend on them when me and you go push them out of the You think I you work and mind them? So how dare you are to kill them? And also, you have some children who are adoptive children. Yes. So at the same, even though you may not push them out yes. biologically, I fear them. Are your children them just Amen. the same? Amen. And you have the authority okay, to okay. pray over them because yes, yes. you are the ones. Hey, hey. Oh, who before are we go, adopted them. Before they we don't go, have to be biologically yours. Exactly. You don't have to push them out biologically for them to exactly. be yours. But yes. if they are in your care, yeah, exactly. they belong to you. They belong to you. That's why. So, so with all that said and done, this evening I am going to be in an interview. 
And I don't think you want to miss that. Praise the Lord. Amen. 7.30 p.m. this evening, I am going to be in an interview. Amen. Who run the world? No, Brother Smith, we need to talk to you about that, you know, Brother Smith. Brother Smith, 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 do you know she's a witch? Who that? Do you know Beyonce is a witch, Brother Smith? I know that, man. I know, I know that. Brother Smith, she's the, Brother Smith, she I sings know. about things that she does with the Bible when she's doing her sacrifice, her, her rituals. Brother yes. Smith, stop okay. saying that. Don't you huh? what the words what she's saying, which, 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 No, you which, still don't understand what no, happened a while ago. she's saying that the the, 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 the word that you did when you just sing all around the world. Ashley, no, 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 no. That. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I said who around the world and here where Brother Max and answer. Jesus Christ of Exactly. Amen. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, what platform are you going to be on? Can we sign down to it or what? Yes, I'm going to send you the link. All right. All right. All right. Uh, well, um, what about, no, it's going to be on my Facebook page. Oh. You're not on Facebook? No, no, I don't do those network stuff. I say okay, so um, <laughs> what I can do is, uh, when, when the interview is done, I can send you the link on YouTube. Right. Is All that right. good enough? Because I yeah, YouTube, YouTube, is news, good. YouTube is good. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. On YouTube. Oh, you, you're on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, what I'll do is send you the YouTube link then. All I right, am perfect. on YouTube, you know. Find me on YouTube. All right, that sounds good. And I'll just click it. Yes, yes. All right. So that good. is what we want to do. Listen carefully. We are here to bring out the best in you. Are you listen to me? Remember this. I know pastor run your house, you know. Are you run your house? Amen. So what we are here to do is to ensure that you understand how to pray to defend yourself and your own. God bless you, everyone. God we bless you. Amen. Have amen, a wonderful amen. day. Amen. Well. Bye bye. Love bye. you. <laughs> amen. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bye. bless you for you. Yep. Amen. Empire.